Welcome to Fantasy Audiobook, All People Evolution, Start Double SS's Talent. Chapter 61, Three Days Later. Today is the fifth day, and it is also the day when the strongest member of the Fungyu tribe, falls. No, since noon yesterday, spies from the Fungyu tribe have reported back frequently. The three major alien races, the Tauran tribe, the Troll tribe, and the Goblin Yi tribe have assembled their armies and are heading towards the Fungyu tribe. By the evening of yesterday, the armies of the three major alien races had already arrived near the Fungyu tribe's camp. But the army was not in a hurry to attack, but set up camp on an easy to defend and difficult to attack hill 10 miles away. Obviously, the three major alien races were waiting for the news of the fall of the strongest member of the Fungyu tribe. As for the Fungyu tribe, they have also recalled all their forces. Except for a group of top masters led by the strongest. On top of the first defensive wall, Zhang Bai stood side by side with Cao Wu, looking at the camp of the foreign army. At this time, Cao Wu said, According to the spies, report, the alien army in that camp has a strength of about 100,000. The strength of 50,000 warriors is between level 5 and 10, and the remaining 50,000 are extraordinary. Among the 50,000 extraordinary, there are about 2,500 tier 3 masters, 12,500 tier 2 masters, and 35,000 tier 1 masters. Zhang Bai frowned, as the number of troops, less. The population of large tribes can range from 10,000 to hundreds of thousands. The population of medium-sized tribes ranges from a thousand to as many as 10,000. The population of small tribes is under 1,000. The three major alien tribes are all large tribes, and they have multiplied for many years. Even if the population is less than 100,000, it is estimated that there is not much difference. In other words, the population of the three major alien tribes alone is nearly 300,000. In addition, there are many small and medium-sized tribes that are vassals under the command of the three major alien tribes. The total population is likely to exceed half a million. With such a population base, how could there be only 100,000 troops? Sao Wu shrugged. Don't worry, I have already contacted Luo Feng, please ask Luo Feng to check. As a liaison, Luo Feng has been following the strongest man of the Fengyu tribe. That's good. Zhang Bai nodded and murmured, I don't know why, I've always had a bad feeling, as if I've overlooked something. Hearing this, Sao Wu patted Zhang Bai on the shoulder. Master Zhang, don't put too much pressure on yourself. In the past three days, other human tribes have been coming to help, plus as heaven designated, in terms of total force, we have already surpassed the foreign tribes. Army, so this battle may not be lost. The blockade levels of the three major alien tribes were all captured by the heaven designated. They seem to have given up, or they want to destroy the resistance of the human race in a single battle. Therefore, it will no longer block other human tribes from supporting the Fengyu tribe. Therefore, during these three days, support teams from other human tribes often arrive. Hopefully, Zhang Bai sighed lightly, always feeling restless. Dot dot dot. In a blink of an eye, it was afternoon. Near the alien army camp. The three most powerful members of the three foreign tribes stood side by side on the observation deck built on a high place, looking at Fengyu city. White flags are hung everywhere in the city, it seems that Feng Tianxing is really dead. The strongest member of the Goblin Yi clan spoke, his tone somewhat embarrassing. Feng Tianxing is the strongest of the Feng Yu tribe. The other two strongest men at the side couldn't help sighing when they heard the words. The five tribes of Mirkwood, except for the peace-loving elves who have been living in the forest of elves in the west, rarely communicate with the outside world. The rest of the human race, Tauran race, Troll race, and Goblin Yi race have been fighting openly and secretly for various resources. Therefore, the three strongest men and Feng Tianxing are old opponents who have been fighting for many years. Now that the old opponent passed away suddenly, these three couldn't help but feel a little bit sad. However, these three quickly suppressed this emotion. In order to destroy the Fengyu tribe, they have made a lot of efforts, and they even came out in full force for this decisive battle. Seeing that he was only one step away from fulfilling his long-cherished wish for many years. How could he be affected by that ridiculous emotion? If you don't destroy the Fengyu tribe this time, you will never give up. Thinking of this, the strongest goblin Yi clan spoke again. You two, our other, big army, 
is probably coming soon, and we should prepare for it. After that, he turned around and went down the observation deck. That's how it should be. I cannot wait any more. The strongest of the Tauran tribe and the troll tribe spoke one after another, with cruel smiles on their faces, they turned and followed. In order to destroy all resistance forces of the human race in one battle, they not only gathered an army of 100,000, but also prepared another, army, with a larger number. Dot dot dot. Feng Yu tribe. At this time, Feng Yu city was quiet. The elderly, children, and women have all been sent to shelters. The warriors and heaven designated of each tribe have also taken their positions, just waiting for the alien army to launch an attack. On top of the first defensive wall, Zhang Bai, Cao Wu, and Feng Xingyu stood side by side, staring at the camp of the alien army. It was evening now, and the alien army finally began to gather. It's just that after they assembled, they didn't launch an attack immediately, as if they were waiting for something. This is also where the three of Zhang Bai were puzzled and worried. Zhang Bai suddenly said, Old Cao, is there still no news from Luo Feng? No, Cao Wu shook his head. Feng Xingyu interjected. The spies I sent here didn't find out where the missing troops are. Maybe we thought too much. Zhang Bai frowned and didn't answer. Suddenly, a ray of golden light descended from the sky and landed on the wall in front of Zhang Bai. But it is a golden eagle that has shrunk in size. Cuckoo. The golden eagle let out a rapid call and gestured at Zhang Bai with its wings. Zhang Bai didn't know whether to laugh or cry. Okay, stop gesticulating, I can't understand it. How about you just take me to see it? Hearing this, the golden eagle immediately flapped its wings and flew up, quickly returning to its original shape. Then it landed in front of Zhang Bai, squatted down, and turned its head to signal Zhang Bai. Seeing this, Zhang Bai looked at Cao Wu and Hefeng Xingyu, I'll go and have a look first, I'll be back soon. As he spoke, he flew and jumped onto the golden eagle's back. The golden eagle got up immediately, flapped its wings, and soared into the sky with Zhang Bai on its back. Cao Wu looked envious, whenever I can have a flying mount. Feng Xingyu on the side laughed. It's just fierce birds, and there is no shortage of them in the dark forest. After your strength improves, just grab one of them. Alternatively, go and steal a fierce bird egg or a fierce bird cub, and feed it from an early age. Cao Wu's eyes lit up. This method is good, you can try it. At this moment, he suddenly received a private message from Zhang Bai. When he opened it, his expression changed drastically. Feng Xingyu at the side saw it and couldn't help asking, Boss Cao, what's wrong? There is a wave of beasts. Cao Wu looked at Feng Xingyu and said in horror, Master Zhang saw from the sky that there is a wave of beasts coming from behind the Fengyu tribe. It will soon reach the Fengyu mountains. The Fengyu mountain range is the C-shaped mountain range that surrounds the Fengyu tribe's residence. Feng Xingyu frowned. Impossible, it's not the estrus season for beasts, where is the beast tide coming from? It should be the ghost of the three major alien tribes. Cao Wu smiled wryly, and explained, Master Zhang said that behind the beast tide, he found warriors from the three major alien tribes. He guessed that those warriors should be the missing troops. Is that so? Feng Xingyu was shocked, and instantly understood something. He looked up at the camp of the alien army, and sure enough, he saw that the alien army had set off and was heading towards the defensive wall. There is an army in front, and a wave of beasts in the back. Good method, good calculation. Feng Xingyu's face darkened, his eyes were full of anger, but he was helpless. At this time, Cao Marshal Dao, Boss Feng, Lord Zhang asked us to hold back the alien army here. He has already contacted Feng Tianxing Sr. and the others, and will eliminate the alien warrior and beast tied over there as soon as possible. Okay, I get it. Feng Xingyu nodded, forcing himself to calm down. He looked at the alien army that was getting closer, and immediately sent an order to prepare for the war. The other side, Zhang Bai was standing alone on the top of the mountain, holding a soul-killing bow, and using waves of arrows to block the tide of beasts rushing up the mountain. The scale of the beast horde is very large and mighty. The good news is that most of them are ferocious beasts, and only a few are ferocious. Moreover, most of these ferocious beasts are tier 1, and there are very few ferocious beasts of tier 2 and tier 3. At the same time, the golden eagle was also alone in the air to stop the birds of prey. 
Birds of prey and beasts are of the same level, neither of which has entered the ranks of extraordinary. And the golden eagle is a second-tier ferocious beast, so naturally it is not afraid of those raptors. In this way, one man and one eagle block the beast tied on the outer side of Fungu Mountain Range, preventing them from crossing Fungu Mountain Range. However, this situation will not last long. As the follow-up beasts caught up, Zhang Bai couldn't stop him. No way, this is a beast tied after all. But what worried Zhang Bai the most were those alien warriors who were all behind the beast horde. Fortunately, he contacted Luo Feng immediately and asked Luo Feng to notify Feng Tianxing to come to support him. Feng Tianxing, as the strongest of the Feng Yu tribe, has a group of top experts by his side. With their actions, those alien warriors behind the beast horde would naturally be eliminated. At this moment, a group of people climbed to the top of the mountain from behind Zhang Bai. This is a team of hundreds of heaven-designated and aboriginal warrior. The reason for such a mix and match is that Heaven Designated has a carry-on backpack for easy carrying, such as boulders, arrows, javelins and so on. In this way, there is no need to worry about the issue of weapons supply. No, those Heaven Designated took out the boulder at this moment and smashed it down the mountain. These boulders weigh at least 10,000 caddies, and they were all deliberately polished into round shapes. After hitting it, it will roll down rapidly, causing secondary damage. The idea naturally came from Heaven Designated. After all, being condescending is also an advantage. Soon, two more support teams arrived. For a while, Zhang Bai's pressure was greatly relieved. He took the time to glance at the sky, and found that although the Golden Eagle was powerful, there were too many flying raptors, and some of them couldn't handle it. Everyone hold on, I'll clean up the birds of prey in the sky first. Zhang Bai said loudly, and immediately raised his bow to aim at the bird of prey in the sky. He shoots three arrows per second, and can accurately shoot and kill three birds of prey every second. With him joining, the pressure on the golden eagle was greatly reduced. A few minutes later, with the joint efforts of Zhang Bai and the golden eagle, all the raptors in the sky were wiped out. Here, Zhang Bai also found a problem. The beasts in the beast tide are too crazy. It stands to reason that beasts have the instinct to seek good luck and avoid bad luck. Once you feel danger, you should leave quickly. But the beasts in the beast tide seem to be demented, not to mention avoiding danger, now they are not even afraid of death. This is so abnormal. Those alien warriors are not beastmasters, so they don't have that much appeal. Single quote. They must have some means of driving the beasts mad and driving them. Single quote. Thinking of this, Zhang Bai immediately sent a private message to Luo Feng, telling his own guess. Soon, Luo Feng wrote back. Luo Feng. I asked Feng Tianxing Sr., and he said that he had never heard of such a method among the three major alien tribes. Zhang Bai. Don't tell me in advance, you haven't arrived yet. Luo Feng. Just arrived, fighting with those alien warriors. Luo Feng. It's just that the warriors of the alien races are at least the second rank, and the leaders of the three major alien tribes lead them personally, so it will take some time. Are the three chiefs dispatched in person? Zhang Bai raised his eyebrows and sent a private message. Give me the coordinates, I will help you, I have a way to temporarily improve the strength of Feng Tianxing Sr. and the others. Without further ado, Luo Feng sent the coordinates. After writing down the coordinates, Zhang Bai immediately took the Golden Eagle and rushed to the coordinates. The large army has already arrived, which is enough to stop the beast tide in a short time. As long as the group of alien warriors who play tricks are eliminated, the beast tide will naturally end. Dot dot dot. Under the leadership of the Golden Eagle, Zhang Bai crossed the beast tide from the air and came to the rear of the beast tide. Soon, he saw a group of human beings fighting with the warriors of the three major alien races. He didn't go down either, and while singing, a man should be self-strengthening, on the golden eagle's back, he shot the alien warrior below with a soul-destroying bow. As the singing sounded, Luo Feng, Feng Tianxing and others below immediately felt their blood surge up and their pride burst forth. At the same time, their strength also began to skyrocket. All second-tier masters, no matter what level they are, are directly promoted to a level that is infinitely close to third tier. The improvement rate of the third tier master is less, only three or four small levels have been improved. But there is one thing. No matter how you improve, 
at most you will be promoted to the level that is infinitely close to the fourth level. Fang Tianxing and others were pleasantly surprised by the soaring strength. They didn't know how long this improvement could last, so they all seized the time to frantically kill those alien warriors. In an instant, more than half of those alien warriors were killed. Seeing this, the three alien leaders threw javelins into the air angrily, intending to knock Zhang Bai down. It's a pity that the Golden Eagle is a second-order ferocious beast. Not to mention its fast-flying speed, it is also extremely flexible. Those javelins were easily dodged by the Golden Eagle. At this time, Fang Tianxing had already killed the three alien leaders. The faces of the three alien leaders all showed despair. They have already realized that this time the three major alien races joined forces to attack the Fengyu tribe, and they are afraid that they will end in failure. Because they never expected that Feng Tianxing not only survived, but also recovered from his injuries. What's more, they didn't expect that Zhang Bai existed in the Fengyu tribe, who could use singing to temporarily enhance the strength of others. And it's a group promotion. After more than 10 minutes, as the leaders of the three major alien tribes fell down with an expression of unwillingness, Zhang Bai finally stopped singing. As soon as the singing stopped, the strength that Feng Tianxing and others had boosted temporarily fell back to the original level. Only, is it useless? Zhang Bai frowned as he looked at the beast tide that was still crazily attacking the Fengyu mountains. He pondered for a moment, and soon had an idea. Golden Eagle, fly over the beast tide. Hearing the words, the Golden Eagle immediately turned around and flew towards the Beast Tide. Zhang Bai also spoke again, humming another song, I caught a cold in that corner. And he also diffused the humming sound through spirit power. Then, a magical scene appeared. Those crazy beasts gradually quieted down amidst the humming. It was as if a person who had fallen into a rage was gradually healed and the anger in his heart was dispelled. Zhang Bai saw it in his eyes and was delighted in his heart. Originally, he just wanted to try it, but he didn't expect it to work. I underestimated this talent. When you have time, you must study it carefully. Looking at the beasts that were scattering away below, Zhang Bai couldn't help but say something to himself. Then, he let the golden eagle fly to the top of the mountain. Standing on the back of the golden eagle, he said loudly to the crowd on the top of the mountain. Everyone, although the beast horde has been resolved, the decisive battle has not yet ended. There are 100,000 alien troops on the other side of the defensive wall. Only by destroying them can we win. I also ask you to work hard and rush to help the defensive wall immediately. Hearing Zhang Bai's words, everyone on the top of the mountain also reacted, and immediately turned around and went down the mountain. Seeing this, Zhang Bai also made Jin Diao turn around and join Feng Tianxing and others. There must be a master on the defensive wall. But the Golden Eagle can't bring too many people, so it can only bring the high-level third order as much as possible and rush to the defensive wall first. Dot dot dot. When Zhang Bai and his party arrived at the defensive wall, they happened to see the second defensive wall and were blasted a big hole by the troll warrior. The trolls are born tall, even young children are 2 meters tall. Adult trolls are at least 10 meters tall. Some troll warriors who have awakened bloodline and talent can also make their bodies bigger. Such a troll warrior, wearing iron armor, holding a large iron shield in one hand, and a giant warhammer in the other. That is simply a mobile siege weapon. The top of the third defensive wall. Master Zhang, you are finally here. Sao Wu was the first to find the Golden Eagle coming, and immediately went to meet it in surprise. Feng Xingyu followed closely behind. Come near. Feng Xingyu looked at Feng Tianxing, and asked eagerly, Father, is the beast tide over? Well, the beast tide has dissipated. Feng Tianxing nodded and looked at Zhang Bai, thanks to Zhang Elder, if it weren't for him, the beast tide would not have dispersed so quickly. At this time, Zhang Bai interrupted. Everyone, let's talk about the gossip later, the enemy has come. Everyone turned their heads and found that the gap in the second defensive wall had been widened by several troll warriors. The warriors of the alien army are swarming in from the gap, heading straight for the third defensive wall. Quick, attack immediately. Feng Xingyu yelled quickly and quickly returned to the command position. For a moment, arrows, javelins, boulders, etc., rained down on the enemy army below. At this time, the tall troll warriors all raised the big iron shields in their hands above their heads. 
The big iron shields were pieced together to form an iron curtain, which could block all the falling arrows, javelins, boulders and so on. The Torin and Goblin Yi warriors who followed the troll warrior were not harmed at all. Seeing this scene, Zhang Bai understood why two defensive walls were breached so quickly. It's really the warrior of the troll clan, it's too buggy. It seems that I have to reveal my cards today. Zhang Bai sighed, jumped and landed on a wall. He scanned the entire battlefield, locked his eyes on all the troll warriors, then stretched out a hand, and suddenly launched the Metal Frenzy Talent. Metal Frenzy Talent, a class, manipulates metal. As Zhang Bai's five fingers slowly closed, a tooth-piercing crunching sound immediately spread across the battlefield. I saw the big iron shields that made up the iron curtain, as if being held by an invisible big hand, quickly twisted and deformed. Not only the big iron shield, but also the iron armor on the troll warrior, and the giant warhammer held in the other hand, all of them are like this. Ah, the troll warriors of level 2, level 3 and below all screamed in unison. In a moment, they were twisted together with the iron armor on their bodies, and died on the spot. The troll warriors of level 2, level 4 or above were able to survive by protecting themselves with spirit power. But the big iron shields, iron armor and war hammers on their bodies were all destroyed. This scene not only frightened the Torin and Gobu Lin Yi warrior. Even the humans on the defensive wall were stunned. Especially those heaven-designated ones. Because they can recognize it, it's some kind of powerful talent. Gollum. Sao Wu on the side swallowed and asked tremblingly, Zhang, Master Zhang, is this your talent too? Zhang Bai glared at him, but he didn't have the energy to answer, and kept panting there. With such a wide range of use of Metal Frenzy talent, his spirit power was directly drained. After a while, Zhang Bai jumped off the wall, came to Sao Wu, and warned in a low voice, remember, don't ask what you shouldn't ask next time. After finishing speaking, he said in a normal voice, Old Sao, I'll leave it to you, I'll restore spirit power first. Then he walked back, intending to find a place to restore spirit power. Everyone, launch an attack immediately. Feng Xingyu reacted first, and immediately issued an order loudly. Immediately, the battle started again. Only this time, without the protection of the troll warrior, the losses of the alien army began to rise in a straight line. Several times they tried to rush under the defensive wall, but were repulsed by the crazy heaven designated and the aboriginal warrior. The two defensive walls in front are topped by trolls. This makes it difficult for heaven designated and aboriginal warriors attacks to cause effective damage. This made them extremely aggrieved. Now is the time for them to vent their grievances. Among them, heaven designated is the most crazy. For them, the aliens below are all survival points. Still the kind that doubles. They can only look at the front, but they cannot reap. Now that the opportunity came, how could they not be crazy? Just like that, the alien army was beaten back outside the second defensive wall, not daring to take a chance. The rear of the alien army. The three strongest members of the three foreign tribes looked at the remains of the three leaders with extremely ugly faces. Earlier, a warrior reported that he was on the third defensive wall, and he suspected that he saw Feng Tianxing, the strongest of the Feng Yu tribe. The three strongest men immediately felt that something was wrong, so they sent an investigation team to check the situation of the other, big army. Unexpectedly, the investigation team brought back the remains of the three leaders. He also said that the beast tide had dispersed, leaving only beast corpses all over the ground. And the three leaders and those elite masters were all killed in battle. It's just that the investigation team was limited in number, so only the remains of the three leaders were brought back. Is Feng Tianxing really not dead? The strongest man of the Torin tribe had a gloomy face, with anger steaming in his eyes. He feels like being played. The strongest of the troll tribe questioned, we personally wounded Feng Tianxing, and we confirmed his injury by ourselves. There should be no mistakes. Maybe we underestimated heaven designated. The strongest member of the Goblin Yi clan thought of something, and said in a deep voice, those heaven designated have heavenly Dao's favor, and even received heavenly Dao's blessing, and awakened various talents. It can cure the existence of Feng Tianxing. Hearing this, the other two strongest also reacted. The strongest man of the Torin tribe was very angry, but there was nothing he could do. They also thought about cleaning up heaven designated first. However, there are regulations in the regional survival battle. 
Before the Feng Yu tribe is wiped out, neither they nor their warriors can leave the Mirkwood. This is Heavenly Dao's decision, how dare they violate it? The strongest of the troll clan looked at the strongest of the Goblin Yi clan, what should we do now? At this point, the only way is to launch a general attack in advance. The strongest of the Goblin Yi clan, with wisdom shining in his eyes, those heaven designated are not to be feared, the biggest problem is the Feng Yu tribe. Fortunately, we have three strongest on our side, and we only need to send out two to hold the wind, heaven. The remaining one can be free to lead all the third ranks of the three tribes to destroy the third ranks of the Feng Yu tribe first. In this way, with the strength of those heaven designated, it is impossible to turn the tide of the battle. Quote. The other two strongest men looked at each other and nodded in agreement. Dot dot dot. The other side. The third defensive wall of the Feng Yu tribe. The heaven designated and the aboriginal warrior who were originally ambushing everywhere have all gathered here. The alien army was also suppressed, hiding behind the second defensive wall, not daring to take a chance. At this moment, the low sound of the horn came. Feng Xingyu, who was looking at the battlefield, changed his expression, and immediately looked behind the alien army. Sao Wu saw it, and quickly asked, Boss Feng, what's the matter with this voice? This is the horn of attack. The foreign army is going to launch a general attack in advance. Feng Xingyu's voice was heavy, and his face was extremely serious. Is it finally coming? Sao Wu's face also became serious. At the same time, Zhang Bai, who hid behind and recovered his spirit power, also opened his eyes suddenly. After taking five spirit power pills in a row, his spirit power finally recovered completely. Ha! Huh, what's that sound? When Zhang Bai heard the deep voice, he couldn't help being a little puzzled. He quickly returned to the defensive wall, and only after asking Sao Wu did he know what was going on. At this time, Feng Xingyu asked, Zhang Elder, your spirit power has recovered. All have been recovered. Zhang Bai nodded vigorously. That's good, let's watch Zhang Elder's next. Don't worry, this time I will definitely give the three great alien races a big surprise. When Sao Wu heard the conversation between the two, he smiled knowingly. He naturally understood what the two of them were talking about. At this moment, the sky-shattering shouts of killing sounded. The alien army has begun a general attack. This time it was still the troll warrior who took the lead and was responsible for clearing the way for the army. The war hammer of the troll warrior has been destroyed by Zhang Bai before. But they still have hands and spirit power. They wrapped their hands with spirit power and pounded heavily on the walls of the defensive walls. Boom! Gravel splashed everywhere, and loud noises echoed in the mountains. In a few breaths, the first and second defensive walls were completely blown down. So far, there is no obstacle in front of the third defensive wall. The alien army also began to charge. The warriors of the Taurus and Goblin Yi tribes closely followed each warrior of the Troll tribe. The troll warriors waved their arms to defend the Tauran and Goblin Yi warriors against boulders, arrows and other attacks. Seeing this, Zhang Bai silently took out the Soul Slayer bow from Qi Si's space. Aim at a troll warrior who rushed to the front, and shoot two special arrows in succession. The first arrow was a whistling arrow, flying past the troll warrior's ear with a strange and piercing sound. Affected by the sound, the body of the troll warrior suddenly stopped. At this moment, the second mother-child arrow arrived in an instant, and half of the arrow body missed the troll warrior's left eye. Only the sound of barking can be heard. Several small arrows, similar to crossbow bolts, flew out of the troll warrior's head. The troll warrior also fell to the ground and died. All of this is a lot to say, but in fact it only takes two or three seconds. Efficient, Zhang Bai's eyes lit up, and he quickly set his arrows and drew his bow, shooting and killing the troll warrior with two special arrows. The strange sound made by the Ming Dai arrow could affect the mind of the enemy. In addition, one of the characteristics of the soul-destroying bow, shock and intimidation, every arrow shot, will automatically add a little power that can shock the spirit. In this way, the effect of the Ming Di arrow on the mind will be even stronger. All troll warriors who have not reached the third level are not immune. With Ming Dai arrows affecting the mind, the troll warrior has no time to defend with spirit power. In this way, the following mother-child arrows can kill the troll warrior. Mother-child arrows contain several child arrows. 
As long as the arrow pierces into the enemy's body, the sub-arrows will scatter out in the enemy's body. The troll warrior is large in size, if he is shot elsewhere by mother child's arrow, he may only be slightly injured. But if it's the head, it's a one-hit kill. As a result, the troll warriors quickly fell under Zhang Bai's bow and arrow. Without the cover of the troll warrior, the charge of the alien army came to an abrupt end. This scene was seen by the strongest of the troll clan. With a loud shout, he threw a giant adult-sized javelin far away at Zhang Bai. Zhang Bai saw it and didn't panic at all. He aimed at the flying giant javelin and shot shocking arrows one after another. This special arrow can burst out with powerful concussion power instantly. The principle is to inject spirit power into the arrow. Then, with the impact force of the arrow hitting the target, the spirit power in the arrow is triggered to explode, thus generating the power of shock. Or detonate the spirit power in the arrow remotely before the arrow hits the target. Of course, this requires the cooperation of special arrows. Common arrows can't do that. No, Zhang Bai only used 10 concussion arrows to successfully intercept the giant javelin halfway. Because of the powerful shock force, the force on the giant javelin was offset. Then, Zhang Bai continued to shoot and kill the troll warrior in the battlefield. Feng Xingyu and Cao Wu on the side watched the whole process with shocked faces. This archery, amazing. Seeing that the warriors of the trolls suffered heavy losses, the strongest of the trolls couldn't help it. He lifted a mace polished from a huge animal bone, and rushed into the battlefield first. Seeing this, Zhang Bai curled his lips in disdain. He understood it. These alien races really don't know how to fight. Especially the trolls. It is suitable for attacking cities and territories, but it only grows in stature and strength, but it does not grow brains. Since the close attack is not good, don't you know how to use the long attack? So many big boulders on the ground, and boulders thrown down by heaven designated. Can't all of this be used for throwing? It's not like you have to rush to the front to destroy the defensive wall. What, are the trolls the enemy? That's fine. Therefore, Zhang Bai accelerated the shooting speed. By the time the strongest of the troll tribe entered the optimal range, Zhang Bai had already shot and killed all the troll tribe warriors with the strength of the second level or below. Even the low-level third-tier troll warriors were shot and killed several times by Zhang Bai in a sneak attack. Little bug of the human race, you die for me. The strongest of the troll clan was furious. With a roar, he threw out the mace in his hand, and smashed it at Zhang Bai with a sharp whistling sound. Regarding this, Zhang Bai didn't even look at it, and seized the opportunity to shoot and kill a third-tier troll warrior again. At this moment, a figure soared into the sky and sent the mace flying with a single slap. Boom, the mace smashed directly into the alien army, killing a group of alien warriors. After seeing that figure, the strongest of the troll race said in human language with a shocked face. Wind and sky, are you really not dead? Feng Tianxing landed beside Zhang Bai looked down at the strongest troll clan below, and sneered, you are not dead yet, how could I die? So what if you don't die? It's a big deal to kill again. It was the strongest man of the Torin who answered, and he also spoke the language of the human race. There is no way, the aborigines don't have an evolution panel, and if they want to communicate, they can only learn other languages. At this time, the alien army had stopped attacking. The other two strongest members of the three major alien tribes, as well as all their third-tier combat power, have come to the forefront of the battlefield. Seeing this, Feng Xingyu immediately pulled Cao Wu to the back. Feng Xingyu knew that the next step was the real tough battle. As the top combat force of the Fengyu tribe, he will naturally participate in the next battle. So the follow-up command will be handed over to Cao Wu. While the human race was rapidly adjusting its deployment, the alien army was also making adjustments. The next battle will be based on the third-tier battle strength of both sides, supplemented by other battle strengths of other ranks. Seeing this, Zhang Bai also planned to retreat to the rear. But as soon as he turned around, the strongest of the trolls shouted in the language of the human race. Hey, that little human bug with a bow. Aren't you amazing? If you have the guts, try to kill me. Hearing this, Zhang Bai turned around and raised two middle fingers to express his respect to the strongest of the troll clan before jumping off the wall. He is not a fool, how could he fall for such a simple aggressive method? 
Juju, the name of the strongest troll clan, I think you are going back as you live. As a senior master of level 3 and level 10, you can actually pull down your face and invite a young man of level 2 and level 1 to fight. How shameless you are. Feng Tianxing laughed unceremoniously, and his voice was loud. No, even the strongest of the Torin clan and the strongest of the Goblin Yi clan heard this and subconsciously took a few steps away from the giant mortar. What a shame. Juju suddenly became angry from embarrassment, and immediately rushed to the third defensive wall. Seeing this, Feng Tianxing jumped off the wall and stood in front of the giant mortar. Within a few strokes, Feng Tianxing hit the huge mortar and kept retreating. Seeing this, the strongest member of the Torin race rushed forward and joined hands with Juju to fight against Feng Tianxing. The strongest member of the Goblin Yi clan immediately waved his hand, come on. Immediately, the tier 3 combat power of the three major alien tribes rushed towards the defensive wall. The third tier combat power of the Fengyu tribe also jumped off the defensive wall, blocking in front of the third tier combat power of the three major alien tribes. Without any nonsense, the two sides directly fought together. Seeing this scene, the strongest member of the Goblin Yi clan laughed. The situation was as he expected. Victory will eventually belong to the three major alien tribes. With this in mind, the strongest Goblin Yi clan is about to make a move. Suddenly, a singing voice full of spirit came. Immediately afterwards, the strongest of the Gobu Lin Yi clan saw that the strength of all the third tier masters of the Feng Yu tribe began to skyrocket. Even a master of level 3 and level 1 can be upgraded to level 3 and level 5. The most frightening thing is that there are more than a dozen breaths that are infinitely close to the fourth level. The strongest of the Goblin Yi clan was stunned. The strongest and Zhu Zhao of the Torin tribe were also stunned. The third tier masters of the three major alien tribes were also stunned. But the masters of the Feng Yu tribe were not shocked. Taking advantage of the skyrocketing strength, they immediately began to attack frantically. In the blink of an eye, more than a dozen third order members of the three major alien tribes were beheaded. Juju and the strongest of the Torin tribe were also beaten by Feng Tianxing until he vomited blood. Of course, the strongest of the Goblin Yi clan was not left out. Feng Xingyu personally led two masters whose aura was infinitely close to the fourth level, and joined forces to besiege the strongest of the Goblin Yi clan. The war broke out again. But this time, the tide of battle has completely turned. It's about the singing. The strongest member of the Goblin Yi clan reacted quickly. While resisting the crazy attacks of the three masters, he quickly searched for the source of the singing. Soon, he saw Zhang Bai standing on the top of the mountain, singing loudly. Was it the human boy who shot and killed a large number of troll warriors with a bow and arrow? The strongest goblin Yi clan recognized Zhang Bai at a glance. He was frightened and angry, and ordered loudly at the same time. Make Archer, the javeliner, kill Zhang Bai who is singing on the top of the mountain at all costs. At the same time, let the other warriors be responsible for assisting all the third tier masters to deal with the third tier masters of the Feng Yu tribe whose strength has skyrocketed. The order was passed down quickly, and the alien army moved quickly. At the same time, the Feng Yu tribe also responded immediately. The hanging door of the third defensive wall crashed to the ground, and dense crowds of human warriors swarmed out of the city gate and rushed into the battlefield. And the strength of these human warriors has also been improved. All the second tier masters are all promoted to the point where they are infinitely close to the third tier. All the masters of the first level will be promoted to the point where they are infinitely close to the second level. Seeing this, the strongest member of the Goblin Yi clan felt cold in his heart. The enemies are all fired up, how can we fight? Ten minutes later, the head of the strongest Goblin Yi clan was beheaded by Feng Xingyu himself. Then Feng Xingyu immediately took the two masters to help Feng Tianxing deal with Juju and the strongest of the Torin clan. At the same time, the third tier masters of the three major alien tribes have also been beheaded to death. The warrior on the human side is madly slaughtering the alien army. Among them, heaven designated as the most crazy. Because in their eyes, the alien army is walking and the survival points are doubled. Half an hour later, Juju and the strongest of the Torin clan were both beheaded. At this time, the alien army had been defeated, and they began to flee. But the heaven designated didn't agree. The Terran warriors of the Aborigines did not agree either. Therefore, 
they cut off the retreat of the foreign army and directly surrounded the foreign army. After one hour, 100,000 alien troops were slaughtered, and none of them escaped. And Zhang Bai, who sang continuously for an hour, finally couldn't hold on any more and fell backwards. Using war song talent to improve the strength of so many people, his burden is also huge. At this moment, not only has his spirit power been consumed, but so has his mental energy. Sao Wu, who had been guarding him all the time, quickly supported the fallen Zhang Bai. He asked anxiously, Master Zhang, what's wrong with you? It's just too much consumption, let me rest for a while. As soon as Zhang Bai finished speaking, he passed out. Dot dot dot. I don't know how long it has been. Zhang Bai's consciousness gradually returned, and he finally woke up from the coma. Before he opened his eyes, the reminder sounded from the evolution panel. Reminder, you have important new news that you have not yet known, please go to the home page of the evolution panel to check it yourself. Zhang Bai opened his eyes and sat up, looking around first. It was found that this was a guest room of Feng Xingyu's house, but the Golden Eagle was not in the room. Zhang Bai didn't care either, and immediately opened the evolution panel. On the front page of the panel, three unread messages are displayed. Click on the first one, but it is a notice from Heavenly Dao. Heavenly Dao Announcement District 168 of Dongtian World No. 666 successfully solved the source of the military disaster, and was the first to advance the regional survival war to the second stage. Special rewards for all heaven designated in District 168. Survival points plus 500,000, equipment optional package gold needle x1. This reward is a bit rich. Zhang Bai was a little surprised, but that was all. He might be a little pleasantly surprised if he replaces the optional equipment package of the gold best with the optional package of cultivation technique or techniques. The second unread message is a regional announcement. Regional announcement. The source of the military disaster has been eliminated, and the regional survival battle in District 168 will enter the second stage animal disaster. Explanation 1. As a buffer, the animal disaster will officially start in three days. Explanation 2. All beasts in the area will be affected by mysterious power. Not only will the evolution speed be accelerated, but they will also become extremely ferocious, resulting in greatly increased aggressiveness and even unreasonable upgraded. Explanation 3. Because the faction mode is closed, Heaven Designated will no longer get survival points for killing other Heaven Designated or Aborigines, but killing any beast will not only get evolution points, but also corresponding survival points. Explanation 4. Take back the positions and authority of each village, and the survival ranking will continue the rules of the military disaster stage and continue to be implemented in the animal disaster stage. Explanation 5. If you want to end the beast disaster, you must find out the source of the mysterious power that affects the beasts and destroy it. Mysterious power, unreasonably upgraded, Zhang Bai frowned. This is completely different from the animal disaster situation he speculated before. The third unread message is a reward for the survival leaderboard. The settlement of the survival leaderboard takes each stage as a cycle. Now the military disaster phase is over, so it will be settled once. As the first place in the survival leaderboard, Zhang Bai received the following rewards, survival points plus 500,000, survival treasure chest gold level x1. He looked at the description of the survival treasure chest, and found that this treasure chest must be able to open any gold level item. After reading the news on the evolution panel, only then did Zhang Bai have time to check his own situation. In the Qi Si space, the spirit power C has disappeared. The spirit power vortex also became unreal. Because of this, the spirit power vortex cannot automatically absorb the external spiritual chi for recovery. This is enough to show how much Zhang Bai consumed before. He lifted the quilt and sat cross-legged. Then he took out a spirit power pill and ate it, and started to restore spirit power by running the infinite art. Dot dot dot. I don't know how long it has been. After Zhang Bai recovered the spirit power C in the Qi C space, he discovered that the Qi C space had expanded a little because he found that the current spirit power C is much bigger than before. After finishing the work, as soon as Zhang Bai opened his eyes, he saw that there was another person in the room. Zhang Elder, you finally woke up. This person is Feng Tianxing. Cuckoo. The Golden Eagle was also there, 
it flew to Zhang Bai's shoulder and kissed his cheek affectionately. After Zhang Bai comforted the golden eagle, he got up and sat down beside Feng Tianxing. After some inquiries, Zhang Bai learned that he had been in a coma for three days and learned that the lairs of the three major alien tribes were wiped out one by one on the day of the decisive battle. And Cao Wu and the others hurriedly left the Fengyu tribe two mornings ago and returned to their respective villages. Zhang Bai guessed that it should be because of the opening of the beast disaster stage that the heaven-designated villages left in a hurry. In addition, it is extrapolated according to time. Then today is the day when the beast disaster officially begins. After sorting out these, Zhang Bai immediately followed Feng Tianxing to bid farewell. You just woke up and are leaving. Feng Tianxing was taken aback for a moment, and then tried to persuade him to stay. Zhang Elder, without your help this time, our Hefengyu tribe would not be able to survive. You might as well stay a few more days, so that we can express our gratitude. Feng Senior, I really have something important to do, so I have to go. Zhang Bai shook his head and reminded, in addition, this matter should also affect your aborigines, so you must be prepared to fight, and you must not relax. Feng Tianxing frowned, and after a moment of thought, he asked, you mean the regional survival battle? Yes, Zhang Bai nodded. I learned from another human tribe that priests can receive and deliver heavenly Tao edicts. Presumably the senior already knows that there are three stages in the regional survival battle. Feng Tianxing nodded silently. Zhang Bai went on to say, Now the first stage of the regional survival war has ended with the destruction of the three major alien tribes, but the second stage has already begun, so I must rush back as soon as possible. I see. Feng Tianxing sighed softly, knowing that he couldn't keep Zhang Bai. Immediately, his face straightened. Zhang Elder, everyone in the Fengyu tribe will always remember your kindness to me and the Fengyu tribe. If you need help in the future, please feel free to come to us. I will. Zhang Bai nodded heavily, agreeing. Three hours later, Zhang Bai rode the Golden Eagle back to the Grand Canyon on the 6th Novice Village boundary. On the way back, he had contacted Cao Wu and learned that everything was normal. So he didn't rush back to the Yanwang tribe, but let the Golden Eagle fly to the center of the Grand Canyon. Soon, the Golden Eagle came over the lake in the center. Standing on the Golden Eagle's back, Zhang Bai stretched out his hand and took out the soul-killing bow from Qi Si's face. He didn't use the arrow, and directly pulled the bowstring with his right hand. Then I saw an energy arrow quickly take shape on the bowstring from virtual to real. But Zhang Bai didn't let go of the bowstring, but let the energy arrow continue to absorb spiritual qi. Ten seconds later, the energy arrow is completely solidified, the size of an adult's thumb. Zhang Bai aimed at the lake and let go of the bowstring. In an instant, the energy arrow shot into the lake. Waited for a while, nothing happened. Zhang Bai didn't care, and continued to shoot energy arrows into the lake, and kept changing positions. About half an hour later, Zhang Bai saw a black shadow rising rapidly from the bottom of the lake. Wow, the water of the lake soared into the sky, and a huge and ferocious black snake head emerged from the lake. Snake King, Silver Boss. Category, Demonic Beast. Strength, Tier 2 Tier 2. Bloodline, Dragon Bloodline, 30%. Talent, Call the wind and rain, stir up the wind and waves. Two talents, Zhang Bai looked surprised, should he be said to be the snake king who owns the Jiaolong bloodline. But, demonized ferocious beast, looking at the description in the category column, Zhang Bai thought about it. He could sense that there was an aura about the snake king that he instinctively hated. This breath gives people an evil feeling, which makes people very uncomfortable. And this also reminded Zhang Bai of the mysterious power that caused the beast disaster. In that case, his original inference was correct. Both the Snake King and the Snake Group are related to animal disasters. Thinking of this, killing intent appeared in Zhang Bai's eyes. At the beginning of the beast disaster, the Snake King already had the strength of level 2 and level 2. If it is allowed to grow, it may pose a great threat to the Yanwang tribe. It has to be fixed. Golden Eagle fly to the shore. After Zhang Bai informed the Golden Eagle, he raised his hand and shot a shocking arrow at the Python King. Boom, the shock arrow exploded in front of the King Snake's eyes, and the strong shock force impacted on the King Snake's eyes, causing it to let out a painful roar. After one arrow, Zhang Bai no longer shoots arrows, but releases his own breath. 
Before he slaughtered the Snake group, the Snake King had sensed his breath. He believes that the Snake King must still remember. No, as soon as he released his breath, he sensed the killing intent emanating from the Snake King, and it instantly became extremely intense. There was even an angry roar similar to a dragon's chant. When Zhang Bai heard the sound, the corners of his mouth turned up slightly. After the Golden Eagle flew to the shore, he immediately returned to the ground. Golden Eagle, fly into the air, I won't tell you, don't come down. After Zhang Bai finished speaking, he looked back at the Snake King and found that it was chasing after it with a murderous look. So he turned around and ran away. Until it is a thousand meters away from the shore. Only then did Zhang Bai stop, waiting for the Snake King to arrive. When the Snake King got within a hundred meters, he immediately started attacking. Instead of using the Rain of Arrows, they used Ming Dai Arrows and Armor Piercing Arrows. Ming Dai Arrows capture the mind, and Armor Piercing Arrows break through defenses. However, Zhang Bai underestimated the Snake King. To be exact, it was the talent who underestimated the Snake King. I saw a gust of wind rising from the ground, surrounding the Snake King's body, blowing all the arrows away. This is the talent that the Snake King calls the wind and the rain. Well, the bow and arrow seemed to be useless. Zhang Bai sighed softly, retracted the Soul Slayer bow to the Qi Si space for nourishment, and then took out the Snow Song knife. If you can't attack from a distance, then fight in close combat. With the blessing of the floating light step, Zhang Bai rushed to the Snake King in the blink of an eye. Raising his hand, the Thousand Killing Saber technique was unleashed. What, why not take carefree steps and thousands of piles of snow? Because these two skills are only proficient level, just using one of them is not very smooth. Not to mention the combination of the two techniques. But in a fight, this kind of unsmoothness will be fatal. On the contrary, Zhang Bai has long mastered the form and spirit of Qin Shi Daoshu and Floating Shadow Step. These two techniques can be used together, and you can do whatever you want. However, the Snake King is not a vegetarian either. After it called the strong wind, it also called the dark clouds. But in a moment, the torrential rain poured down. At this time, the talent that made waves began to show its power. The wind turned into a squall, and the rain turned into a big wave, sweeping towards Zhang Bai from all directions. Sharp, Zhang Bai gave a heartfelt admiration. Looking at this scene alone, it is bigger than the aboriginal masters of level 3 and level 10. Unfortunately, they are all paper tigers. Zhang Bai injected spirit power into the snow song knife, and waved it casually. A huge saber slashed out, and all the waves that swept in were cut off at the waist. Any other means, let's use them together. Zhang Bai shouted to the Snake King, he believed that the Snake King could understand. He was also interested. In the previous decisive battle of the Fengyu tribe, he was in charge of using the War Song talent to improve everyone's strength, but he failed to participate in the battle. It made him very sorry. Now it's time to make up for it. The Snake King responded with a roar, his killing intent became even more frightening, and his aura became extremely violent. Accompanied by strong winds and big waves, it rushed towards Zhang Bai extremely swiftly. Zhang Bai was not afraid at all, and went forward with a knife. Dot dot dot. The other side. The central area of the Grand Canyon is full of strong winds and heavy rain. Such movement naturally attracted the attention of Heaven Designated. When they saw the Golden Eagle hovering in the air, they immediately realized something and hurriedly informed Cao Wu. After Cao Wu got the news, he immediately organized his manpower and rushed to the central area. When they arrived, they saw Zhang Bai fighting a huge snake alone in the storm. That scene shocked everyone. Compared to the giant snake that can control the wind and rain, Zhang Bai is really too small. But he was holding a knife in the wind and rain, cutting the giant snake's scales flying and blood flowing into rivers. Luo Feng sighed. Zhang Yi is Zhang Yi with the same strength as Tier 2 and Tier 1, but the combat power that Zhang Yi has displayed far exceeds me. Who gave you the guts to compete with Master Zhang? Tang Ling was not polite, and looked at Luo Feng with disdain. Yang Zhao Zhao on the side nodded repeatedly, expressing her approval. Luo Feng's face darkened, he was stupefied and speechless. Seeing this, Cao Wu and Lin Guadong decisively swallowed the words that came to their lips. Other heaven designated are talking about it. 
I didn't expect that besides his superb archery skills, Master Zhang also has such superb sword skills. Normal, as the saying goes, a long range that can't melee is not a good long range. I also practice swords, why can't I be like Zhang Yi, who can't cut without a sword? As soon as I heard what you said, I knew that I didn't listen to Master Zhang well. That's right, Master Zhang said long ago that techniques are divided into form and spirit. Look at this sword technique performed by Master Zhang. The moves are like the horns of antelopes. There is no trace to be found. Every move and style can be done at will. This is obviously AI have mastered this saber technique to the level of unity of body and spirit, so I can easily cut out the light of the saber. So that's the case. Thank you two big brothers for your guidance. Record. Kill the Snake King, Silver Boss X1, Get, Evolution Point plus 22,000, Survival Points plus 2200, Silver Treasure Chest X1. After nearly half an hour of fierce fighting, the Snake King finally fell to Zhang Bai's knife. To Zhang Bai's surprise, the Silver Boss contributed an unexpectedly large amount of Evolution Points and Survival Points. As soon as the Snake King died, the wind and rain dissipated immediately. The dark clouds in the sky also quickly dispersed, and the sun shone down again. Zhang Bai put the Snow Song knife back into the Qi Si space for storage, then put the Snake King into the storage space, and then walked towards where Cao Wu and the others were. Come near, everyone greeted Zhang Bai one after another. After Zhang Bai smiled and nodded one by one, he looked at Cao Wu, why are you here? You make such a big noise, can I not come? Cao Wu rolled his eyes and asked, that giant snake just now is the snake king in the lake, right? He was a little far from the battlefield, so he couldn't see the information panel of the snake king. It is indeed the snake king. Zhang Bai nodded, and changed his tone, okay, let's talk about other things when we go back. I'm completely soaked, so I have to go back and change. As he spoke, he waved to the golden eagle in the air. The golden eagle immediately fell from the sky. Zhang Bai flew onto the back of the golden eagle, and under the envious eyes of everyone, he was carried by the golden eagle soaring into the sky and flew towards the Yanwang tribe. Dot dot dot, Yanwang tribe, in the residence of Zhang Bai. In the living room, Zhang Bai, who had changed into dry clothes, sat opposite Cao Wu. Demonized ferocious beast, Cao Wu was thoughtful, and guessed, could it be that the Snake King has been affected by the mysterious power? Zhang Bai nodded. I think so too. I guess, the unreasonable upgraded mentioned in the announcement notes is likely to refer to demonization. If this is the case, then the animal disaster may be more difficult than we imagined. Cao Wu frowned, feeling a little uneasy. After all, the word, demonization, has always represented bad things. Zhang Bai shook his head. The current situation is unknown. Let's remind everyone to be careful and strengthen the defense of the Yanwang tribe by the way. That's the only way. Cao Wu nodded, getting up and preparing to leave. Suddenly, Zhang Bai thought of something and reminded him, By the way, I would like to remind everyone that it is best not to eat the meat of demonized beasts to avoid any problems. New. After watching Cao Wu leave, Zhang Bai also got up and went back to the bedroom upstairs and began to sort out the harvest. The first is treasure chests and optional packages. Record. Open the survival treasure chest gold level X1, get, survival points plus 100,000, Ben Lay Sword Golden Ultimate X1, 13 Ben Lay Swords, X1. Record. Open the silver treasure chest X1, get, evolution coin plus 1 million, basic encyclopedia of talisman making, X1, relocation order X1. Record. Open the equipment optional package, gold level, X1, get, flood dragon leather armor, gold top grade, X1. Zhang Bai took out the Ben Lei sword and, 13 Ben Lei swords, with a strange expression on his face. He didn't expect that he could even order matching items. However, do you want to learn swordsmanship? After all, archery is a bit partial, and it may be difficult to obtain more powerful archery techniques in the future. In this way, Zhang Bai will lose a means of fighting against the enemy in the future. Swordsmanship is different, the path is extremely wide and the future is bright. And maybe in the future, he might be able to obtain techniques such as Yujianshu. Learn, anyway, I have to learn boxing in the future. With a decision, Zhang Bai enhanced the Ben Lei sword nine times in a row, 
raising its grade to the best platinum level, becoming a spiritual chi like the Snow Song Knife. He stored the Ben Lei Sword in the Chi Si space, and planned to learn 13 Ben Lei Swords. Reminder, you have not yet learned basic swordsmanship, so you cannot learn 13 Swords of Ben Lei. Zhang Bai was speechless, so he had no choice but to open the Evolution Store and buy a copy of Basic Swordsmanship and a copy of Basic Boxing. After learning the two basic techniques, he took a look at his potential. Yep, not enough promotion. Zhang Bai reluctantly threw 13 Swords of Ben Lei back into the storage space and then took out Basic Encyclopedia of Talisman Making after changing hands. Talisman, he knows. And it can also be expected that the spell will definitely have a bright money future in the future. So Zhang Bai threw the basic encyclopedia of talisman making back into the storage space and put it together with the encyclopedia of formation basics. His top priority now is to improve his strength, not to get a job. Afterwards, he took out the dragon leather armor and used the infinite enhancement talent to enhance nine times in a row. Dragon leather armor plus nine. Category, Artifact, Host, Zhang Bai, Grade, Inferior, Spirituality, 100, Special Effects, Long Way Activated by Spirit Power, it can burst out the dragon's might to frighten the beasts, Human Machine Integration Omitted. Features, Bixi, because there is a ray of dragon soul living in the spiritual weapon, ordinary evil spirits cannot approach it. Dragon soul, once the spiritual weapon is hit beyond its own limit. The ray of dragon soul hidden in the spiritual weapon will automatically resuscitate and bless it on the spirit weapon, so that the protective ability of the spirit weapon will temporarily increase. Self-repair when suffering damage, it can automatically absorb spirit power or spiritual chi for repair. Protect the master omitted youngling omit. Remarks. The stronger the spirituality of the spirit weapon, the stronger the power. Bixi. Zhang Bai frowned. Could there be evil spirits in this world? Think carefully. Since there are cultivators in this world, it seems reasonable to have evil spirits, right? It seems that everything heaven designated has seen so far is just the tip of the iceberg. Zhang Bai sighed and stored the dragon leather armor in the Qi Si space. When he needs it, he can wear it automatically when he calls it out, which is very convenient. The treasure chest is finished, and the next step is survival points. Zhang Bai opened the survival store and found that his own survival points had reached more than 2.6 million. After he recalled the harvest, he immediately felt normal. First, Heavenly Dao announced a reward of 500,000. Then came the settlement of the survival leaderboard, and another 500,000 was rewarded. Then there was the previous decisive battle. Because Zhang Bai blessed everyone with the battle song talent, when everyone killed the alien warrior, he also received survival points rewards. Because of the buff that doubled the points, nearly 980,000 survival points were recorded for this point alone. Previously, Zhang Bai blocked the beast horde, and also sneaked into the blockade of alien races, adding up to more than 500,000 survival points. And these two things also have the buff blessing of doubling the points. I just opened the survival treasure chest and got another 100,000 plus the remaining survival points from before. After adding everything up, there are more than 2.6 million. Only, now I don't lack cultivation technique, I don't lack techniques, and I have all the equipment. How to use so many survival points? Zhang Bai was a little distressed. Fortunately, there are no other heaven designated here, otherwise Zhang Bai will be beaten to death if other heaven designated hear Zhang Bai's words. They are worrying about not enough survival points. Forget it, keep it for now. Wait until you need something later. After closing the survival store, Zhang Bai began to practice Wuliang Ju. Perhaps it was because his foundation was solid enough that he practiced Wuliang Ju very quickly. No, the first level of Wuliang Ju has almost been cultivated by him to the return to origin level. By then, he will be able to fully understand the second 12 classics. In this way, one only needs to accumulate enough evolution points to raise one's strength to level 2 or level 2. Yes, after entering the second stage. If you want to improve your strength, you not only need evolution points, but you also need to meet two conditions. First, completely get through a certain, two, meridians in the 12 classics. Second, the total amount of spirit power reaches the corresponding standard. 
Time came tonight in a blink of an eye. But the courtyard of Zhang Bai's manor was full of flames at the moment. Don't get me wrong, it's not a fire. It was Zhang Bai who suddenly came to nature, so he set up several bonfires in the yard and planned to hold a bonfire banquet at night. For this reason, he also sent Sao Wu five people. Also during the period of penance, the five people I knew, Su Xingyu, Zhang Guilong, Qin Yan, Lin Mukcheng, and Li Yu Zhao, were all invited over for a drink. And these ten people are the only ten friends in Zhang Bai's friend list. Plus the Golden Eagle, Yu Zhao, and the servants in the manor. So tonight's manor is particularly lively. No, the lively atmosphere also attracted other heaven designated. Zhang Bai never refused to anyone who came, not only opened the gate of the courtyard, but also shouted in the number six chat room. Therefore, basically as long as they are in the heaven designated of the Yanwang tribe, they all flock to Zhang Bai's manor to participate in the bonfire banquet. Everyone has no shortage of evolution coins now, and they can buy what they want to drink directly in the evolution store. Grill your own meat if you want it, it's totally a real buffet. Some heaven designated who came to the interest spontaneously started to perform, such as singing, dancing and so on. There are even wonderful shows such as performing handstands and drinking. Almost didn't laugh Zhang Bai to death. But at the moment of laughter and laughter, the low-pitched horn sounded suddenly. The noisy scene immediately fell silent. Sao Wu immediately stood up and explained, In order to deal with the beast disaster, I specially made this kind of horn after imitating the Feng Yu tribe. As long as this horn sounds, it means that a herd of beasts is attacking the Yanwang tribe. The herd, Zhang Bai asked with a strange face, why, they knew we were having a banquet, so they took the initiative to deliver the goods. Puff, everyone just burst out laughing, what the hell is it delivered to your door? Seeing this, Zhang Bai smiled and said, everyone, since those beasts are so active, we can't remain indifferent. To show respect, let's go and pick out the ingredients together, and come back and drink. Everyone responded with a bang. So a group of people went straight to the gate of the tribe. The defensive wall at the horde's main entrance. Zhang Bai stood side by side with Sao Wu, looking at the pair of blood-red animal pupils in the darkness outside the tribe. At this time, Sao Wu said, Zhang Ye, these beasts are common ferocious or ferocious beasts in the Grand Canyon. But their situation at this time seems to be a bit wrong. Zhang Bai sighed softly. Be confident, remove the word, seems, they are really wrong. I guess, it should be related to the animal disaster. You mean, demonization. Sao Wu quickly guessed what Zhang Bai was referring to. Zhang Bai nodded. If you feel it carefully, you will find that there is a disgusting evil aura on those beasts. During the day, he had sensed it from the Snake King. There are also these beasts in front of you. After Sao Wu sensed it, he frowned and said, Sure enough, there is a disgusting evil aura. Old Sao, send more people out to investigate the situation tomorrow, and talk to other villages by the way. I have a hunch that the animal disaster will become more troublesome as it progresses, and we must get through it quickly. After Zhang Bai reminded, he turned around and jumped off the defensive wall, and went straight back. Those beasts outside are not strong, so there is no need for him to take action. As expected, in less than half an hour, the herd of beasts were all eliminated, and everyone returned to the manor to continue the banquet. It's just that everyone didn't bring back the animal meat. Because Sao Wu told everyone that those beasts have been affected by mysterious forces, and it is not certain whether their meat is safe. So it's best not to eat it for now. It was not until late at night that the banquet finally dispersed. It was a rare opportunity to relax and everyone enjoyed themselves. Dot dot dot. The next day, Zhang Bai woke up early in the morning and resumed his morning exercise routine. It's just the time to practice innate Daoyan, and change it to practice Wuliang Ju and Golden Light Curse. As for the fire control technique and the hundred forging body refining formula, the former is not in a hurry, and the latter can be improved with potential points. The rest of the time is still used to practice techniques. Just when Zhang Bai had just finished his morning exercises, Sao Wu came in a hurry. Master Zhang, something serious happened. I just saw from the regional channel that in the early hours of last night, Novice Village No. 8 was raided by a group of ferocious beasts. Only a few heaven designated managed to escape. Hearing Sao Wu's words, Zhang Bai was stunned for several seconds before he could react. 
How can this be? The current heaven designated per capita is level 2. What kind of beasts can slaughter a village of heaven designated overnight? Zhang Bai had a look of disbelief. According to several survivors in village number 8, they are a group of black spiders with ghost faces on their backs. These black spiders not only possess mental attacks, but the silk they spray out is also poisonous. As long as the skin comes into contact with the spider silk, it will be poisoned, and it will paralyze the body in a moment, making it impossible to move. Among the few survivors, one of them's talent can cure all poisons, so those few people were able to escape by chance. With a solemn face, Sao Wu quickly spoke out the information he knew. Ghost face, black spider, Zhang Bai couldn't help being taken aback. Why does this thing sound familiar? Suddenly, Zhang Bai thought of something, and his pupils shrank. He remembered. On the border of number 7 Novice Village, in the barren area in the center of the valley plain, there is a group of black ghost-faced spiders hiding underground. At that time, Zhang Bai saw the group of spiders, so he associated the group of snakes in number 6 Novice Village with the animal disaster. Master Zhang, Lord Zhang, ah, what's wrong with you, why did your face suddenly become so ugly? I thought just now that I saw those black spiders with ghost faces on their backs in the number 7 novice village before. Number 7 novice village. Sao Wu was taken aback for a moment, then his face changed drastically. You mean, the group of black spiders can leave the novice village at will? Should be. This is bad. Sao Wu's complexion also became ugly. Since the group of black spiders can go to number 8 novice village, they must also be able to come to number 6 novice village. Facing the group of black spiders, number 8 novice village was almost slaughtered. The number 6 novice village is probably not much better. Zhang Bai took a deep breath to calm himself down. He patted Sao Wu on the shoulder and comforted him. Don't worry too much, I observed before that the group of black spiders are nocturnal beasts and they should not come out to move during the day. Really, Sao Wu's eyes lit up, and his mind immediately became active. Master Zhang, you should still remember where the group of spiders are. Then can we? Zhang Bai nodded. I'm just planning to do this. You gather a few experts, and I'll lead the team to try and see if I can destroy the group of spiders. Okay. Sao Wu responded, turned around and was about to leave. Zhang Bai quickly stopped him. According to my speculation, there should be a group of huge herds of the same kind of beasts in the center of the current leveling points of each village. It is very likely that this is the first wave of catastrophe. It's the same as our snake group and the spider group in village number. 7. Sao Wu thought of it as soon as he heard it. Zhang Bai nodded. Whether you want to inform the villages of this news, you can decide for yourself. After speaking, he turned and went back to the house. After Sao Wu remained silent for a moment, he also turned and left. After breakfast, Zhang Bai came to the gate of the tribe with the golden eagle. Here, Sao Wu has assembled thousands of heaven designated. Seeing so many people, Zhang Bai was taken aback for a moment. Afterwards, he came to Sao Wu and asked cautiously, Old Sao, what are you doing with so many people? Destroy the spider swarm, what else can you do? Sao Wu looked at Zhang Bai in wonder. Zhang Bai. I thought you were going to attack some novice village. I just asked you to gather a few good players, a few. Do you need to get thousands of people? After Zhang Bai complained, he reminded, besides, you also know that the group of spiders have the ability to attack mentally and can also release colorless and odorless poisonous gas. Did you send so many people there to die? A. Yes. Sao Wu slapped his forehead and said awkwardly, well, I was so disturbed by the incident in number. 8 village, I forgot about it for a while. As far as your mental quality is concerned, I think you should go back to the stove and rebuild. Zhang Bai rolled his eyes and stepped in front of those people. He first explained the situation of the group of spiders, and then said that he only needed people who could resist mental attacks and who were immune or detoxified. After everyone listened, they also understood the danger of this trip. But, Master Zhang, we can't always let you face the danger alone, while we hide behind and enjoy it with peace of mind. That's right, Master Zhang. You have to give us a chance to prove yourself, don't you? Zhang Ye, you don't know something, in fact, we have already seen the news from the regional channel. Looking at the smiling crowd, Zhang Bai also understood their wishes. He no longer discouraged, 
but nodded. Okay, since you are not afraid of death, then go. Okay. Everyone suddenly became excited. Dot dot dot. Two hours later. The valley plain in village number. 7. Zhang Bai led a thousand man army and stopped at the edge of the center of the valley plain. This large barren area with no grass in front is the habitat of spiders. See those burrows of different sizes. Those spiders nest in those burrows during the day, and only come out to move around when night falls. Speaking of this, Zhang Bai let go of his perception. He sensed it for a while, nodded and said, the group of spiders didn't leave. They came back after attacking village number 8 last night, and they are nesting in the burrow right now. Then these spiders are moving very fast. Luo Feng on the side spoke in surprise, from the coordinates, the distance from here to number 8 village is much farther than number 6 village to here, but they can complete the attack in the middle of the night and quickly return to their lair. Hearing this, Zhang Bai glanced at the others. Everyone remember, this group of spiders not only have the ability to attack mentally, they can also spray poisonous spider silk from a long distance, and they travel extremely fast. The others nodded silently. Zhang Bai looked at Luo Fang. If you find anything else, you continue to talk. These spiders are nocturnal beasts and live in burrows. I guess they should be afraid of light, so we'd better do it during the day. Speaking of this, Luo Fang pondered for a moment before continuing. I personally suggest that everyone should split up and start cleaning the holes one by one from the outermost to the center, and it is best to form a group of five people. In this way, one person can be responsible for setting fire to the burrow to excite the spiders inside, and the other four are responsible for guarding around the burrow, and quickly kill the spiders when they emerge. In case of an unexpected situation, the nearby team can also provide timely support. Quote. After Zhang Bai considered for a moment, he looked at the others, I think this suggestion is good, do you have any other suggestions? Everyone else shook their heads. Zhang Bai made a decision immediately, success, then use this method. Let's form a team of five people. I will hover in the air on a golden eagle and provide support to everyone at any time with a bow and arrow. Half an hour later, thousands of people organized themselves into 200 teams and began to clean up the spiders in the cave from the outside to the inside. Zhang Bai also took out the soul killing bow, rode the golden eagle into the air, and kept an eye on each group with his perception. Dot dot dot. In a blink of an eye, it was afternoon. After 200 groups frantically rolled in, all the caves except the one where the spider king is located have been cleaned up. Even the spider eggs in some burrows were dug out and smashed to pieces. It's crazy. The reason is that in the beast disaster stage, Heaven Designated can get both evolution points and survival points after killing beasts. In this way, 200 groups directly started the crazy involution mode. As for Zhang Bai hovering in the air, he didn't even have a chance to support him. Only, looking at the Spider King's huge body nearly 5 meters high, 10 extremely sharp spider legs, the breathtaking ghost face on his back, and several blood-colored spider eyes. Everyone's scalp was numb and they stepped back. As the saying goes, soldier against soldier, general against general. Master Zhang, we have cleaned up all the mobs, and the Spider King will be left to you. Master Zhang, come on, you can do it. Come on, Master Zhang. We will silently support you behind the scenes. Zhang Ye v5. Zhang Ye will win. Come on, brave boy. Zhang Bai, if I hadn't seen your trembling legs, I would have believed your nonsense. Tu Kao returned to Tu Kao. Zhang Bai still believes in everyone. Because he has a super sense talent, who can perceive other people's thoughts, emotions and so on. Holding the Soul Slayer bow in his hand, he looked at the Spider King. Ghost Face Spider King, Silver Boss. Category. Demonic Beast. Strength. Level 2 and Level 3. Bloodline. Ancient Spider Bloodline, 30%. Talent. Swiftness, Ghost Face Illusion, Mental Shock. Not only does the strength reach level 2 and level 3. And there are two spiritual talents. Zhang Bai focused his eyes, and silently recited the Qingxin formula in his heart. This cultivation technique can resist mental attacks. At the same time, Zhang Bai also raised his soul-killing bow and began to stand up and lick the ghost-faced spider king. The rapid-fire archery skill reappeared, and the rain of arrows covered the ghost-faced spider king. Even if the ghost-faced spider king had a swift talent, he couldn't completely avoid the arrow rain attack. 
It wanted to attack in close quarters, but every time it was repelled by Zhang Bai with a concussive arrow. It spits out poisonous threads, but Zhang Bai easily dodges it. It used the ghost mask illusion and mental shock, but it was easily resisted by the Qingxin formula. It can be said that Zhang Bai beat it to death in every aspect. About 10 minutes later, the ghost-faced spider king was full of arrows, and fell to the ground with a bang, and there was no more movement. Record. Kill Ghost Face Spider King Silver Boss X1 Get Evolution Point plus 23,000 Survival Points plus 2,300 Silver Treasure Chest X1 Zhang Bai retracted the Soul Slayer bow into the Qi Si space, took out the Snow Song knife, and stepped in front of the Ghost Faced Spider King. He jumped up on the spot, swung his knife and chopped off one of Ghost Faced Spider King's legs, then squatted on the ground to check the information. Ghost Faced Spider King's Spider Legs Enhancement Available. Category. Materials. Grade. Gold. Uses. Can be used for forging and refining. Gold grade. No wonder it's so hard and sharp. Zhang Bai was surprised. Even the snake skin of the Snake King in Village Number 6 is only silver. During the battle just now, Zhang Bai noticed that the Ghost Faced Spider King's 10 spider legs were unusual. So I cut it down out of curiosity. Never thought that the grade of this spider leg could reach the gold rank. It is estimated that the grade of the poison sack is not low. Zhang Bai stood up and looked at the ghost-faced spider king, then swung the snow song knife, dismembering the ghost-faced spider king with the light of the knife. He only took the poison sack, and gave the spider legs and silk to the crowd, letting them divide it by themselves. Afterwards, a group of people turned back to the boundary of number six village. Finally, before dark, he successfully returned to the Yanwang tribe. Chapter 71 A month later, finally got through all the twelve cannons. Zhang Bai was delighted. In this way, his strength has officially entered level 2 and level 6. Of course, on his evolution panel, the column of strength still shows tier 2 and tier 1. Because he didn't have enough evolution points, he hasn't upgraded yet. This is like at the first level, he can first increase the strength on the panel to the limit. Then, by practicing the cultivation technique, slowly improve the four-dimensional attributes. Conversely, it is also possible for Zhang Bai to improve the cultivation technique first, and then improve the strength on the panel later. This will not affect his real strength. Calculate the time, I have been closed door training for a month, and I should go out for a walk. Zhang Bai said to himself, got up and walked out of the quiet room. He found Yu Zhao gave her some evolution coins, and told him that he would go out to practice for a while. Afterwards, he went to the bird's nest to bring the golden eagle and left the residence. After coming out of the residence, Zhang Bai didn't leave the tribe in a hurry, but came to Sao Wu's residence. During the closed-door training, Zhang Bai kept his ears shut. So he came to Sao Wu to find out what was going on outside. Feel free to ask, it's been a month, haven't you found the source of mysterious power yet? It's just that as soon as Zhang Bai walked into the house, he saw an unexpected visitor. Zhang Elder, long time no see. Boss Fang, why are you here? Seeing this unexpected visitor, Zhang Bai was surprised. The person who came was the leader of the Feng Yu tribe, Feng Xingyu. Sao Wu greeted. Master Zhang, sit down and talk. After Zhang Bai is seated. Only then did Sao Wu explain. Boss Feng came here in person, not only to ask for help, but also to invite us to move to the Feng Yu tribe. Following Sao Wu's explanation, Zhang Bai finally understood that the situation outside had reached an extremely serious situation. During his closed-door training, all the aboriginal tribes outside Mirkwood were slaughtered by demonized beasts, including the Jinghong tribe he is familiar with. Even on heaven-designated side, there are seven relatively weak novice villages that have been slaughtered by demonized beasts one after another. And the survivors of these seven novice villages add up to less than a hundred people. You know, there are only 22 novice villages in District 168. In addition, village number 4, village number 7 and village number 8 that were wiped out before. That is to say, more than half of the novice villages in District 168 have been wiped out. The situation outside Mirkwood is like this, let alone inside Mirkwood. According to the news brought by Feng Xingyu, tribes large and small in the dark dense forest were all attacked by herds of beasts. 
all weak tribes have been slaughtered by the herd of beasts. Now those remaining tribes have begun to form groups, preparing to work together to survive the catastrophe. The Fengyu tribe is also gathering human tribes from all over the place, intending to gather the power of the human tribe to tide over the difficulties together. Feng Xingyu came here in person to invite village number 6 to join the Fengyu tribe. After all, it was Sao Wu who led the heaven designated from each village to support the decisive battle with the three major alien races. Later, it was Zhang Bai who took out the soul returning pill and saved Wei Feng Tianxing's life. When the decisive battle started, it was Zhang Bai who reversed the situation with the battle song talent, and the Fengyu tribe won a big victory. Due to emotion and reason, Feng Xingyu felt that he should go there in person. Only in this way can we show respect for Sao Wu and Zhang Bai. As for other novice villages, naturally other experts from the Fengyu tribe will go there. Dot dot dot. After listening, Zhang Bai was silent for a moment, and asked, Boss Feng, have you investigated the source of the ferocious beast riot? Yes, but I haven't found it yet. Feng Xingyu nodded first, then shook his head helplessly. Sao Wu frowned. With your size, can't you find the source? Why, you don't have a clue. Zhang Bai looked at Sao Wu with a questioning look. It's not just me, other novice villages are also clueless. Sao Wu shook his head, and changed his tone, however, we have basically checked the places outside the Mirkwood, but we haven't found any abnormalities, so we always think that the source should be in the Mirkwood. Hearing this, Zhang Bai turned his gaze directly to Feng Xingyu. Feng Xingyu spread his hands. Although the Merc Forest is large, the Fengyu tribe has lived in it for many years, so they are naturally familiar with it. One month is enough for us to explore the entire Merc Forest. After a pause, he changed his tone, however, there is one place we cannot investigate. Where, Zhang Bai looked curious. Today's Feng Yu tribe is the real boss in the dark jungle, and there are places they can't investigate. No, Sao Wu also looked at Feng Xingyu curiously. Facing the curious gazes of the two, Feng Xingyu spit out four words, Forest of Elves. Zhang Bai and the two were taken aback for a moment, and then suddenly realized. The two of them had heard Feng Xingyu mention the Forest of Elves before, and they also knew that it was the territory of the elves. Feng Xingyu once said that the elves have always been xenophobic. Anyone who dares to break into the forest of elves without consent will be killed mercilessly. After pondering for a while, Zhang Bai asked, Boss Feng, there is nothing you can do, can you contact the elves? No, because the elves rarely communicate with the outside world, so we have no way of contacting at all. Feng Xingyu shook his head with a helpless expression. At this time, Sao Wu said surprisingly, do you think the source is in the elf forest? We have already searched inside and outside the dark forest, but there is no clue. Now there is only this elf forest that has not been investigated yet, explore. Hearing this, Zhang Bai Hefeng and Xing Yu fell silent. We are all smart people. What Sao Wu can think of, Zhang Bai Hefeng Xing Yu can naturally think of. For a while, Zhang Bai took out a token and handed it to Sao Wu, stood up and said, you are responsible for the relocation of the Yanwang tribe, I will find a way to go to the forest of elves to check the situation there. Sao Wu took a look and was stunned, relocation order. Master Zhang, where did you get such a good thing? It came out of a treasure chest. Zhang Bai casually replied, cupped his hands to Feng Xing Yu, turned and left. After coming out of Sao Wu's residence, Zhang Bai took the golden eagle, left the Yanwang tribe, and went straight to the dark forest. When crossing the Grand Canyon, Zhang Bai also observed and found that there were almost no beasts in the Grand Canyon. This situation, he also expected. Under the influence of mysterious power, all beasts become aggressive. For the safety of the Yanwang tribe, there is nothing wrong with clearing the beasts of the Grand Canyon. After all, there are already several lessons learned. The Yanwang tribe cannot repeat the same mistakes. Mirkwood. Not long after Zhang Bai entered the dense forest, he was attacked by beasts. Although they are beasts of level 8 and 9, these beasts have been demonized by mysterious power. The real strength is stronger than ordinary beasts of level 8 and 9. And most importantly, they seem to have lost their minds. They only know how to attack blindly, and they don't have the instinct of normal beasts to seek good fortune and avoid evil. Even if Zhang Bai killed more than half of them, he still couldn't scare them at all. Under normal circumstances, 
as long as Zhang Bai or the Golden Eagle releases a little breath, they can be scared away directly. No wonder the Feng Yu tribe wants to gather the power of the human race. Zhang Bai suddenly understood. In the face of beasts that are not afraid of death and full of aggressiveness, it doesn't matter if they are small in number. But once the number comes up, even the Feng Yu tribe can't hold it. But, this is an opportunity to earn evolution points. Zhang Bai felt that he had discovered a blind spot. He has rapid archery skills, as long as it is not a large-scale beast horde, or a third-tier group of ferocious beasts. He can kill as many as he comes. Coincidentally, he also lacks evolution points and potential points. Then go to the fairy forest later. Zhang Bai quickly made a decision. With potential points, he can raise the level of cultivation technique and techniques. In this way, his combat power can also be enhanced a lot. Then go to the forest of elves, and the safety will be improved. So, Zhang Bai quickly went deep into the dark forest. There is no way, with his current strength, he can no longer gain evolution points by killing beasts below the first level. As for the herd of beasts in the inner area, their strength is basically at the first or second level. Dot dot dot. Five days later, on top of a mountain. Record. Your technique, Thousands of Snow, Golden Ultimate, has been upgraded to the level of, Return to Origin. Reminder, the limit of gold level techniques is not the level of, Return to Origin, there are two levels of true meaning and profound meaning above it, which need to be comprehended by heaven designated by themselves, and cannot be improved by potential points. Seeing the last reminder, Zhang Bai was surprised. He originally thought that the level of technique has always been divided into six levels, Initiation, Proficiency, Mastery, Xiaocheng, Great Completion, and Return to Origin. I never thought that after the technique reaches the gold level, there are two more levels. And these two levels can only be comprehended by oneself. According to my experience, things that generally require heaven designated to comprehend on their own belong to a special category. It seems that there are two levels of true meaning and profound meaning. It is necessary to try to understand it. Zhang Bai muttered thoughtfully, and then began to improve other techniques. Soon, the Qianxi secret technique, the Three Swords of Destruction, and the Free Stepping into the Air were all upgraded to the level of, Return to Origin. Then Zhang Bai took out the two books, Basic Swordsmanship, and, Basic Boxing, opened them to study, and upgraded these two basic skills to Return to Origin. In this way, he can learn swordsmanship and boxing. So he took out the previously opened, Thirteen Swords of Ben Lei, to study, and raised it to the, return to origin level in one go. So far, the technique has been improved. Next, is to improve the cultivation technique. Other cultivation techniques or special cultivation techniques, which cannot be improved with potential points. But the body refining formula is not. It is what Zhang Bai wants to improve, and it is also because of it that he learns basic boxing skills. Since I decided to take body refining as well, wouldn't it be a waste of physical strength if I didn't learn some fisting techniques? After continuously upgrading the body refining formula to the third level return to origin, Zhang Bai stopped improving. Because the potential points are exhausted. After working hard for five days, it was used up in less than half an hour. This is really. Zhang Bai shook his head again and again, deeply feeling that his potential was useless. Of course, the main reason is that cultivation technique consumes too much potential. Take the 100 forged body refining formula as an example. This thing is divided into 10 layers, and each layer is divided into 6 small levels from initiation to return to origin. Basically, every time you upgrade a level to return to origin, you need to consume 420 potential points. 10 floors, then you need 4200 points. And that's just the cultivation technique aspect. Forget it, take your time. Shaking his head, Zhang Bai stood up and moved his hands and feet to adapt to the soaring physical strength. After that, he looked towards the ancient dense forest ahead. Compared with the trees in other places, the trees in the dense forest ahead are particularly old and tall. And that dense forest is the forest of elves. During these five days, Zhang Bai intentionally moved to the forest of elves while collecting evolutionary points. He found that the closer he was to the forest of elves, the more demonized beasts he encountered. And the evil aura on those demonized beasts became stronger and stronger. Zhang Bai estimated that Sao Wu probably hit the nail on the head. 
the source of the mysterious power may really be in the forest of elves. Thinking of this, Zhang Bai raised his head to the sky and shouted, Golden Eagle. Call, a gust of wind hit, and the Golden Eagle fell from the sky. The evolution speed of the Golden Eagle is not slow, and its current strength has reached level 2 and level 3. The good news is that perhaps because of its own particularity, it has not been affected by mysterious forces. And as its strength grows, its body becomes bigger and bigger. Zhang Bai flew up to the Golden Eagle's back and patted its head. Go, take me to the fairy forest for a circle. Hearing this, the Golden Eagle immediately flapped its wings and flew towards the elf forest with Zhang Bai on its back. As soon as he entered the range of the forest of elves, Zhang Bai immediately let go of his perception and activated his supervision talent. While perceiving, he inspected the bottom. Although the forest of elves is especially lush, there are always some rifts. These suspicions could not escape Zhang Bai's eyes. It seems to be okay. Zhang Bai sensed and observed for a while, but found nothing unusual. He couldn't help scratching his head, and muttered in his heart, could it be a mistake? However, as the golden eagle flew to the depths of the elf forest, Zhang Bai soon discovered the problem. He saw through the gap between the tree crowns that most of the vegetation on the ground in the forest had turned yellow. This is not an isolated phenomenon, but everywhere. And not only the vegetation on the ground, but also many giant trees have become withered and yellow. It's just that the giant tree is too big, and this withered and yellowing phenomenon has not yet spread to the crown. But the branches under the canopy have long since become bare, as if they have been drained of vitality. Suddenly, the golden eagle made a sharp warning sound, and quickly turned around and flew out of the forest of elves. Zhang Bai looked back, and saw a mass of black and ferocious birds, soaring from a huge tree in the deepest part of the elf forest. He also turned on the hypervision talent, so he could see the blood-red eyes of those ferocious birds, like demonized beasts. Moreover, he also sensed an extremely strong evil aura from those vicious birds. Is that giant tree the source? Zhang Bai realized something, and immediately adjusted the focus, aiming at the giant tree. Seeing this, he couldn't help but gasp. Through the gigantic canopy of the giant tree, he saw that the trunk under the canopy of the giant tree was covered with wriggling things that looked like blood vessels. Looks extremely spooky and disgusting. And those blood vessel-like things seemed to be constantly absorbing the vitality of the giant tree. Golden Eagle, fly to Feng Yu tribe. While reminding the Golden Eagle loudly, Zhang Bai took out the soul-killing bow and pulled it quickly, using concussive arrows to block the flock of vicious birds that were chasing after him. At the same time, he also contacted Cao Wu through a private message and asked Cao Wu to inform the Feng Yu tribe to prepare for battle. Because in the group of fierce birds, there are many fierce birds with third-level strength. This is also the reason why the Golden Eagle turned around and ran away. Chase and escape. Before they knew it, the Golden Eagle arrived near the Feng Yu tribe with Zhang Bai on its back. Zhang Bai took the time to look back, and immediately let the Golden Eagle fly to the defensive wall. After a month of repairs, the two defensive walls that were smashed before have now been completely repaired. Defensive walls need only have enough stone to repair them quickly. Golden Eagle, it will fall on the first defensive wall. Hearing Zhang Bai's words, the Golden Eagle immediately fell down. As soon as the Golden Eagle fell to the ground, Zhang Bai jumped to the ground and quickly rushed to the wall of the defensive wall. He quickly set his arrows and drew his bow, and waves of arrows rained down on the hunting birds. At the same time, the third tier masters of the Feng Yu tribe who were stronger in defense also threw javelins at the group of fierce birds. The javelins they threw were all injected into history. Even if it is dodged by a fierce bird, it can detonate the spirit power in the javelin in time. This method is different from the usage of shock arrows, generally only the third order strong can do it. Because only tier 3 powerhouses can manipulate spirit power in the air to achieve the goal of injuring the enemy from a distance. In just 10 minutes, all those ferocious birds were killed. This is because Feng Xingyu and Hefeng Tianxing came here in person after learning about the situation. The battle is over. Zhang Bai retracted the soul-destroying bow to the Qi Si space for nourishment, turned around and jumped off the wall, and came to Feng Xingyu Hefeng Tianxing. Thanks to the wind leader Hefeng Senior for helping. Hearing Zhang Bai's words, Feng Tianxing immediately blew his beard and stared, Zhang Elder, I'm going to be angry when you say that. 
Fang Xingyu also pretended to be angry and said, Zhang Elder, for your kindness to us, if you thank us, aren't you humiliating us? Well, Zhang Bai broke into sweat, and quickly apologized, I'm sorry, I said something wrong, please forgive me. Sao Wu on the side quickly smoothed things over, this is not a place to talk, let's go back to Feng Yu city to talk about it. Yeah, go, Zhang Elder, let's go back to the city and talk. Feng Tianxing changed his face in a second, and enthusiastically pulled Zhang Bai towards the defense wall. Zhang Bai quickly called the Golden Eagle, CFAH. Feng Yu City. In Feng Xingyu's residence, Zhang Bai told the reason why he was hunted down by the group of vicious birds, and at the same time, he also perceived what he found in the forest of elves. After listening, Sao Wu said with a strange expression, So, I really got what I said. Yes, Crow's mouth. You were right. Zhang Bai smiled and lost a sentence. At this, Sao Wu rolled his eyes and didn't bother to talk to Zhang Bai. Feng Tianxing sighed and said, Zhang Elder, according to what you said, the elves are probably in danger. That's just right, it saves me from doing it. Zhang Bai sneered and said murderously, the elves don't send out any news about such a big event in the elf forest. I will keep this account in mind. Even if they are not wiped out, I will find them afterwards. They count. That's right. Sao Wu nodded and agreed. I believe that the elves must have been aware of the incident at the very beginning, but they didn't pass on the news immediately. This has led to the destruction of a large number of tribes during this period, and we have also suffered losses. This account must be settled on their heads. If they don't give an explanation, then there is no need for the existence of the elves. Feng Tianxing, Hefeng Xingyu looked at each other and nodded silently. Both felt that Zhang Bai and Sao Wu had a point. No matter whether the beast disaster is caused by Heavenly Dao or not, as long as the elves can deliver the news in time, it will not be dragged until now and become so troublesome. Leave aside the matter of the elves for now, let's discuss how to destroy the source. After all, the longer it drags on, the more terrifying the beast disaster we will face. Zhang Bai brought the topic back on track with a few words. Sao Wu frowned. This matter is a bit difficult to handle. We don't know much about the forest of elves. In addition, there has been a sudden change this time. Now, no one knows what's going on inside. If we rush to gather troops to kill them, I'm afraid it will be a disaster. There will be heavy losses. I agree with Chief Sao's opinion. Feng Xingyu nodded in agreement. We must at least have a preliminary understanding of the situation in the elven forest so that we can make a correct response. Feng Tianxing shook his head, but in this way, it will take a lot of time. Now every time it is delayed, the animal disaster will become more serious. We don't have so much time to waste. Attack with fire. Zhang Bai opened his mouth and expressed his own thoughts. After the fire ignites, the beasts in the elf forest will either escape or die, and we only need to send people to guard the border between the elf forest and other places to prevent the fire from spreading. As soon as these words came out, the eyes of Sao Wu, Feng Xingyu, and Feng Tianxing lit up. That's right, you can also attack with fire. Everyone is a cultivator, and it is much easier to stop the fire than to kill the beasts. Moreover, heaven designated are all from modern society, more or less know some scientific methods to prevent the spread of fire. This way, things are much easier. Thinking of this, the three of Sao Wu spoke one after another. Okay, just attack with fire. As expected of Zhang Elder, there are many calendars. Zhang Elder's quick wit is really admirable. After determining the general direction, Zhang Bai doesn't have to worry about other details. After he asked Sao Wu where the Yanwang tribe was, he left with the Golden Eagle. After coming out of Fengyu City, Zhang Bai walked all the way to the east and soon saw the Yanwang tribe. With the relocation order, Sao Wu directly moved all the buildings and all the tribe residents of the Yanwang tribe over in an instant. Tribes in other villages were not so lucky. They can only choose to destroy all tribal buildings, so as to take away the tribal core. Then take the residents all the way over, and then resettle the tribe core and build the tribe from scratch. Fortunately, there is no shortage of materials here, and the tribesmen are also there. So the reconstruction speed is not slow. Of course, in addition to heaven designated, other surviving indigenous tribes also came. Fortunately, the base of the Fengyu tribe is large enough, so many tribes can be stationed at one time, and it doesn't seem crowded. 
It just seemed a bit noisy. Fortunately, the Fengyu tribe was very kind to the Yanwang tribe, and the location for the Yanwang tribe was relatively quiet and the environment was good. Three days later, in the early morning, on a hill near the elf forest, Zhang Bai, Sao Wu, Feng Xingyu, and Feng Tianxing stood side by side, looking at the forest of elves. Today is the day to start. At this time, Sao Wu said, Master Zhang, all the hands are already in place, just waiting for you to light the fire. Okay, Zhang Bai nodded and called the golden eagle in the air down. He rode a golden eagle and entered the range of the elf forest from the air. After the golden eagle flew over the inner area of the elf forest, Zhang Bai stretched out his right hand, mobilized spirit power with the fire control technique of the first level of initiation, and ignited a cluster of spiritual fire in his palm. Immediately afterwards, he opened the newly drawn, Yan Yang Ji Lai, talent. In an instant, the cluster of spiritual fire exploded and turned into a huge fireball in the blink of an eye. Yan Yang Ji Lai, a level talent, can manipulate flames. The disadvantage is that it cannot condense flames out of thin air. With the help of Yan Yang Ji Lai talent, Zhang Bai controls the fireball to fly into the air. At the next moment, the arrows formed by the flames shot in all directions and fell into the forest of elves. This is the spiritual fire transformed from spirit power, far beyond compare. The flame ignites when it meets something, and it ignites one place after another in a moment. Afterwards, Zhang Bai dispersed the fireball, took back the flaming talent, and turned on another talent. Wind Rider, a level talent, can control the wind. The transpiration heat of the flames made wind appear naturally in the sky above the elf forest. With the help of Wind Rider Talent's ability, Zhang Bai quickly strengthened the wind and spread it around. The fire borrows the wind, and the wind helps the fire. In less than a minute, a single spark turned into a sea of flames. Zhang Bai increased the output of spirit power, and suddenly there was a gust of wind, and the sea of flames quickly spread to the entire elf forest with the help of the gust of wind. At this point, the ignition task is considered complete. Zhang Bai withdrew the talent and asked Jin to return to the previous hill immediately. Go back to the top of the hill. As soon as Zhang Bai got off the golden eagle's back, he saw Sao Wu was hesitant to speak. So, Zhang Bai started talking nonsense without blinking. Don't think too much, what I just cast was a fire-type spell and a hefeng-type spell. Spell, Feng Tianxing looked at Zhang Bai and said in surprise, Zhang Elder, you are actually a mage with both wind elements. It's amazing. Oh, Feng Senior has heard of mage. Zhang Bai looked surprised. In his opinion, the Feng Yu tribe with all warrior members should not know the existence of mage. At this time, Feng Xingyu interjected, Elder Zhang didn't know something. More than a hundred years ago, there was a powerful mage in my Feng Yu tribe who was in charge. At that time, there were no so-called five major tribes, because my Feng Yu tribe was the dark forest the strongest tribe in the world. It's a pity that some things happened later, which led to the sudden disappearance of the mage, and he didn't even have time to keep his own inheritance so that the current Feng Yu tribe has no mage to appear. Quote. At the end, Feng Xingyu couldn't help but let out a long sigh. Hearing this, Zhang Bai and Sao Wu looked at each other, and both saw the surprise in each other's eyes. Neither of them expected that the Feng Yu tribe had ever been brilliant. At this moment, bursts of roars came from afar. Several people immediately turned their heads to look at the forest of elves. At this time, the forest of elves has been engulfed in a sea of flames. That roar came from the sea of flames, and it was getting closer and closer. Soon, groups of beasts rushed out of the flames and scattered in all directions. It worked. Sao Wu waved his fist vigorously, excited. Zhang Bai reminded. Old Sao, don't be so happy, remind others to pay attention to the impact of the herd, and to strictly prevent the spread of the situation. Yes, I'd have forgotten if you didn't tell me. Sao Wu slapped his forehead and quickly notified. All parties have heaven designated to follow, so don't worry about the problem of contact. At this time, Zhang Beifei landed on the Golden Eagle's back, and Jin Dazuo chased and killed those who fled in other directions. Anyway, wait and wait, it is better to brush up the evolution points now. As for the direction of the mountain where Sao Wu is located, that direction is leading to the Feng Yu tribe, so naturally manpower was arranged to stop the fleeing beasts. 
a fire burned for five days and nights before it ended. During this period, the coolest thing was Zhang Bai. Because he set the fire, all the beasts that were burned to death in the forest of elves were all counted on him. Although the beasts burned to death are only a small part, but it also brought Zhang Bai more than 1.5 million evolution points and survival points. No, he directly pulled the strength on the evolution panel to level 2 and level 10, and got all the potential points of the second level. Then he exchanged all the remaining evolution points for potential points. But even so, it is only to upgrade the 100 forging body refining formula from the 3rd level return to origin to the 4th level return to origin. For this reason, Zhang Bai deeply felt that the potential points were too much to use. Master Zhang, you can go. Coming, Zhang Bai responded, and immediately got up and walked towards the assembled team. The regional announcement has not sounded, indicating that the source of mysterious power has not been destroyed. Therefore, this trip is to go deep into the forest of elves, find and destroy the source of mysterious power. Guadong, Zhao Fang, you must protect Zhangda. Sao Wu is exhorting Lin Guadong and Luo Feng. Captain, don't worry, I will never let Lord Zhang suffer any harm before I fall down. Luo Feng patted his chest, swearing in assurance. Zhang Bai who had just walked over heard it, and immediately said angrily. Zero. It's not even set off yet, can you say something auspicious? Besides, with your little strength, it's fine if you don't let me be distracted and protect you. You still protect me. Sao Wu, Lin Guadong, Luo Feng, Master Zhang, although this is the truth, don't be so blunt. Very heartbreaking. Okay, if you don't want to go, don't talk about it here. After Zhang Bai drove Sao Wu away, he looked at Lin Guadong and the two of them. Don't listen to Lao Sao's bullshit. If you are in danger, don't worry about me, save your life first. I have a golden eagle by my side, it's easy to escape, I don't need your protection, understand. The golden eagle standing on Zhang Bai's shoulder immediately raised its head. Luo Feng said with a grin, Master Zhang, don't worry, if something is wrong, I will be the first to run. I'm different, I'll break Lao Luo's leg first, let him draw fire for me, and then I'm on the run. Lin Guadong said serious and scary words, which made Luo Feng jump three meters away in an instant. At this time, Feng Tian walked over. Zhang Elder, I'm ready here, let's go. Okay, let's go. So, under the leadership of Feng Tianxing and Zhang Bai, a group of more than 20 people walked towards the burned ashes of the elf forest. The forest of elves, which had been ravaged by the fire, also had a wider field of vision. Just don't walk too fast, otherwise it will bring up dust all over the sky. And the goal of this trip is also very clear, which is the tallest giant tree located in the deepest part of the elf forest. More than an hour later, the team arrived at the target location. Looking at the giant tree that was densely entwined with things that looked like blood vessels, everyone felt their scalps go numb. Zhang Bai suppressed his nausea and asked, Feng Senior, have you seen this kind of thing before? He checked through the evolution panel and found that all he saw were question marks. I've never seen it before. Feng Tianxing shook his head with a dignified expression. Could it be that Heavenly Dao deliberately launched it to create a disaster for animals? Zhang Bai frowned, and then suppressed the speculation in his heart. He turned to the others and said, Stay away from everyone, I'll try to see if I can burn these ghost things. Hearing this, everyone else stepped back. Feng Tianxing also took two steps back, and stood behind Zhang Bai in a sweeping formation. Seeing this, Zhang Bai used the fire control technique to transform the spirit power into a spiritual fire, and then used Yan Yang to burn the 227 Lai Talon to manipulate the spiritual fire to burn those things in the form of blood vessels on the tree. As the flame continued to burn, an amazing scene appeared. Those blood vessel like things are constantly twisting and screaming. Hearing the scream, Zhang Bai's consciousness instantly became trance. But soon, he came back to his senses, and his face suddenly changed. Everyone cover your ears, there is a mental attack in the scream. Zhang Bai turned his head to remind loudly, while silently reciting the Qingxin Ju in his heart, while protecting the golden eagle in his arms with one hand. He has a balanced growth talent, and the spiritual attributes can grow together with the physical attributes. So his mental attributes are not low. After using the Qingxin Ju at this moment, he can easily resist the mental attack in the scream. 
After seeing that everyone is safe, Zhang Bai turned around and immediately increased the supply of spirit power to the flame. Immediately, those blood vessels were like the tentacles of a fried octopus, twisting crazily while making more ear-piercing screams. As the time goes, those blood vessels were gradually burned into charcoal, and fell off from the trunk by themselves. Then Zhang Bai found a huge heart of flesh and blood at the root of the giant tree. A few blood vessels as thick as an adult's arm extended from the heart, directly inserting into the trunk of the giant tree. Seeing this, Zhang Bai finally understood that those blood vessel-like things on the giant tree are really blood vessels. Its source is the heart. So Zhang Bai grabbed it in the air, captured the burning flame, and pushed it to the heart from the air. Under his manipulation, the flame instantly enveloped the entire heart. As the flames continued to burn, the blood vessels above the giant tree also shrank and fell off, and quickly become dry, and finally turned into fly ash scattered on the ground. Ten minutes later, the entire heart was burned to ashes. All the blood vessels on the giant tree have already fallen off. Zhang Bai dispersed the flames. Suddenly, an old and weak voice sounded in Zhang Bai's ear. Young man of the human race, thank you for helping me destroy the heart of the demon. Zhang Bai was taken aback for a moment, then turned his head to look at Feng Tianxing behind him. Feng Senior, are you talking to me? Feng Tianxing shook his head. It's not what I said, I also heard the voice just now. At this time, the voice sounded again. I am the tree in front of you, you can see me when you look up. Zhang Bai turned his head suddenly, looked at the giant tree in front of him, and slowly raised his head. Soon, he saw a protruding huge human face on the trunk of the giant tree above his head. I rely on. Zhang Bai was startled, and quickly stepped back, staring at the giant face vigilantly. What are you, Dryad? Hearing Zhang Bai's question, that face opened his mouth and said, I am not a tree spirit, I am a tree of life. Tree of life. Zhang Bai was taken aback for a moment, and then he came to his senses. Anyone who has heard of the legendary of the elves knows the existence of the Tree of Life. Zhang Bai is no exception. But there are exceptions. Feng Tianxing approached Zhang Bai and asked in a low voice, Zhang Elder, what is the Tree of Life? Ah, you can be regarded as a strange tree. The legendary elves were conceived from this strange tree, and they also rely on this strange tree to reproduce their offspring, so the elves regard this strange tree as a sacred tree. Zhang Bai briefly explained the information he knew. Before Feng Tianxing could speak, the Tree of Life spoke up, Young man of the human race, where did you hear this kind of messy legendary? How powerful is the elf race, how can I have the ability to give birth to an elf race? Ha, huh, Zhang Bai scratched his head, wondering, but all the legendaries I know say that. This is wrong. The Tree of Life seemed a little excited, and raised his voice slightly, the ancestors of the elves and our ancestors were both created by the great goddess of nature. Because of this, the two ancestors were born close to each other. And sign a covenant of never betraying and helping each other, so that the two races will always live together. Not the kind of messy relationship you mentioned. Zhang Bai, sure enough, legendary is unbelievable. Feng Tianxing is also a little speechless. It is obviously a pure brotherhood and ally relationship, but it is said to be a mother and son. If this is known by the elves, the friendship between the two races for countless years will be shaken. No wonder the Tree of Life is excited. Well, let's talk about the demon heart. Zhang Bai changed the subject awkwardly, and asked sternly, Tree of Life, do you know where Dao's heart comes from? Of course I know, because the demon heart is an evil thing that I am responsible for guarding. The Tree of Life began to talk about the origin of the demon heart. It said that about 10,000 years ago, the elves were still one of the most powerful races in this world, and even established their own empire, the Elf Empire. Until one day, an extraterrestrial evil spirit suddenly came to this world and set off a catastrophe to destroy the world. Because the place where the evil spirits descended was the Elven Empire, the elves were the first to bear the brunt of the attack. Originally, the elves thought that with their own powerful strength, they would be able to destroy this extraterrestrial evil spirit. But no one thought that the evil spirits outside the sky could demonize all living beings, and then manipulate these living beings for their own use. The strong man sent by the elves to destroy the extraterrestrial demons, not only failed to destroy the extraterrestrial demons, but was demonized by them and used by them. As a result, the elves were defeated. 
most of the Elf Empire was destroyed by the extraterrestrial demons within a short period of time. In desperation, the Elves had to seek help from other races. In the end, after the clans paid a heavy price, finally, he succeeded in destroying the army of the extraterrestrial demons and captured the extraterrestrial demons alive. But another problem followed. The powerhouses of all races found helplessly that no matter what method they used, they couldn't kill the evil spirit in one go. Even if the extraterrestrial demons were severely injured to the point of falling asleep. The reason is that the body of the extraterrestrial demon possesses the property of being almost immortal. Even if it is blown into a rain of blood, the bodies of the demons outside the sky can automatically reunite little by little. Fortunately, the body of the evil spirit outside the sky is not truly immortal. Just use the power that can restrain evil, such as the power of fire, the power of thunder and lightning, the power of life, etc., to wipe it out. But it takes a long time to fade away. In desperation, the powerhouses of all races dismember the body of the extraterrestrial demon into seven parts, limbs, torso, head and heart. They intend to seal these parts of the demon's body to some special places. And use the power of those special places to obliterate these parts little by little. Among them, the head and heart are the most important parts of the demon. The former sleeps with the consciousness of the evil spirits outside the sky, while the latter is the source of power for the body of the evil spirits. Therefore, the seals of these two parts must be guarded all the time. At this time, the elves stood up and took the initiative to take over the task of guarding the heart of the demon. In the war with the evil spirits outside the sky, the elven empire has been completely destroyed. Even the elves survived only a small part. Therefore, the elves suggested sealing the demon heart into the tree of life, and borrowing the power of life from the tree of life to obliterate the demon heart. The elves, on the other hand, voluntarily took on the heavy responsibility of guarding. In this way, the demon heart was sealed into the tree of life. The elves became the guardians, guarding the tree of life for generations. After listening to the story, Zhang Bai was silent for a while, and then asked, since the heart of the demon is sealed, how did it break through the seal, and then erode you? Facing Zhang Bai's question, the tree of life explained, in this 10,000 year, I have consumed too much in order to obliterate the demon heart. If it wasn't for the fact that the elves were constantly feeding me with the power of life, and performing duties on my behalf every once in a while, giving me a chance to breathe, I'm afraid I would have been unable to hold on. But it is precisely because of this that it finally led to the occurrence of this disaster. After 10,000 years, the seal became loose. I was sleeping and recovering during that time, so I didn't notice it in time. I never thought that there was a ray of the original energy of the evil spirit hidden in the heart of the evil spirit. When the seal was loose, it escaped from the sky and escaped into the body of the elf king. And the elf king was completely demonized by this ray of original energy without knowing it, and it was too late when I realized it. The elf king personally slaughtered the entire elf clan, and sacrificed all the blood and bones of the clansmen in the form of blood sacrifice, helping the demon heart break through the seal. I tried my best to stop it, but I still failed. After hearing this, Zhang Bai and Feng Tianxing looked at each other. Neither of them expected it to be like this. For a while, Feng Tianxing asked, What about the Elf King? Where is he now? He has been beheaded by me. There is endless sadness in the voice of the Tree of Life. The Elves turned from prosperity to decline due to the evil spirits outside the sky, and then they were willing to take on the heavy responsibility of guarding. Now it is completely wiped out because of the evil spirits from outside the sky. How unfortunate and sad this is. It seems that I wrongly blamed the elves. Zhang Bai sighed, no wonder the elves didn't pass the news out in time. Feng Tianxing on the side also let out a soft sigh. The Tree of Life said, although the elves are extinct, at least their mission has been completed, and the heart of the demon has been completely destroyed. Speaking of this, I'm a little confused. Looking at the Tree of Life, Zhang Bai wondered, isn't the heart of the demon extremely indestructible? Why is it so easy to burn to ashes when I burn it with spiritual fire? The Tree of Life explained, the elves in this world are extinct, and I have no intention of living, so I hold the idea of perishing together, and use my last strength to drag the heart of the demon, trying to wipe it out completely. I never thought that the demon heart would attract a large number of demonized beasts, and let these beasts absorb my power together. 
If it weren't for the previous fire that scared away or burned those beasts to death, I'm afraid I would have been killed by the demon heart. Total erosion. And that fire also caused a lot of damage to the demon's heart, and I also took the opportunity to wipe out its last bit of origin, but because of this, my strength was exhausted. Seeing that the demon's heart was about to corrode me again, fortunately you arrived in time and took action, which completely destroyed the demon's heart. Hearing the last, Zhang Bai couldn't help breaking out in a cold sweat. Fortunately, it came in time, otherwise a terrifying big boss would be born. If you still have any doubts, please ask as soon as possible, I am about to wither. The voice of the tree of life became weaker and weaker. Zhang Bai hurriedly asked, is there any way to save you? You kind-hearted young man of the human race, I thank you for your kindness. But my origin has been exhausted, and there is no way in this world to save me. As the sound of the tree of life became lower and lower, Zhang Bai also saw that huge face gradually solidify. Immediately afterwards, the entire giant tree withered at a speed visible to the naked eye. The branches on the giant tree continued to fall off, and finally only the bare and dry trunk remained, standing alone in place. At this moment, Zhang Bai felt as if his heart was blocked by something, with an inexplicable feeling of sadness. At this moment, the Heavenly Dao announcement finally sounded. Heavenly Dao announcement. District 168 of Dongtian World number 666 successfully solved the source of the beast disaster, and was the first to advance the regional survival war to the third stage. Special rewards for all Heavenly Dao districts 168. Survival points plus 1 million, 20% off in survival stores card permanent X1, technique optional package golden ultimate X1 X3. I will go because of the handwriting. Zhang Bai was surprised when he saw the final technique optional package. This is equivalent to, all heaven designated in area can have a golden technique. Of course, the permanent 20% off survival store card is just as good. After the Heavenly Dao announcement, the regional announcement sounded again. Regional announcement. The source of animal disasters has been eliminated. The regional survival battle in District 158 will enter the third stage natural disasters. Explanation 1. As a buffer, the natural disaster will officially start in three days. Explanation 2. Natural disasters will appear in turn in the order of rainy season, dry season, windy season, and cold season. Explanation 3. Each season will last for 30 days, and each season will have a three-day buffer period. Explanation 4. In the natural disaster stage, Heaven Designated will no longer get survival points for killing beasts, but in any season, every day you survive will automatically get 100,000 survival points. Explanation 5. The survival leaderboard is closed, because the stage is no longer continued. Note 6. Please note that after the season comes, the evolution store and the survival store will be temporarily locked, and no items can be purchased or exchanged. They will only be unlocked again when the buffer period or the natural disaster stage ends. Looking at the six instructions, Zhang Bai fell into deep thought. At this moment, the settlement reminder for the survival leaderboard sounded. Zhang Bai won the first place again, and the rewards he got were survival points plus 1 million, survival treasure chest gold level X1. Yanwang tribe. After Zhang Bai came back, he went straight to Sao Wu's residence with Lin Guadong and Luo Feng. There, Sao Wu, Tang Ling, and Yang Zhao Zhao were already waiting. After the six people got together, they sat down separately. First, Zhang Bai shared some information obtained during this trip, such as various clans, elf empires, extraterrestrial demons and so on. After listening, Sao Wu pondered, even the empire and the clans exist, so it seems that the number 666 Dongtian world is far more complicated than we expected. Zhang Bai was not surprised by this, and said casually, normal, we seem to have walked out of the novice village, but we have been trapped in Area 168, what does this mean? It means that we are not qualified yet, because we have been exposed to real Wazy. Or, we don't have the power to protect ourselves in the face of the Aborigines outside. Tang Ling interjected. I said, the demons outside the sky are the key point, right? That thing is just a beast whose heart has been obliterated by the Tree of Life for 10,000 years, and it can demonize the entire 168 area without knowing it. One can imagine how powerful the extraterrestrial demons are. 
Since you know the power of the demons outside the sky, do you think it is useful to pay more attention to us with our current strength? Lin Guadong's rhetorical question left Tang Ling speechless. Sao Wu answered, In the future, maybe we will encounter evil spirits from outside the sky, but for now, we don't need to pay too much attention, let's discuss the upcoming Wukcho first. Speaking of this, he looked at Zhang Bai. Master Zhang, what do you think? What I can think of, you can basically think of, so I won't talk nonsense. Zhang Bai waved his hand and asked, Do you have any questions? If not, I'll go back and rest. The five shook their heads at the same time. Okay, that's it, I'll go back first. While talking, Zhang Bai got up and walked out. As soon as he walked to the door, he suddenly thought of something, turned around and said, By the way, Lao Sao, if you have no place to store survival supplies, remember to come to me. Zhang Bai has a storage space with unlimited capacity, and it can hold more materials. Three days later, early morning, with a thunderclap in the air, the prelude to the rainy season officially kicked off. Standing at the gate of the villa, Zhang Bai looked at the thick dark clouds that seemed to fall at any time, his brows slightly raised. Judging from this posture, it is estimated that there will be heavy rain soon. Under heavy rain, natural disasters such as mudslides and floods are most likely to occur. Zhang Bai speculates that the ordeal of the rainy season is probably similar to these natural disasters. And what he can think of, Sao Wu can naturally think of it. Therefore, the light yellow tribe has already done the relevant defense work. Soon, bean-sized raindrops fell. But in an instant, the raindrops became denser and turned into a heavy rain. Zhang Bai stood at the door for a while, then turned and went back to practice in the quiet room. Idle and idle on rainy days, just to improve my strength. In this way, it rained for three days and three nights. Do you think the rain will start to lighten up on the fourth day? No, the heavy rain directly escalated into a torrential rain. The sound of the clattering rain, just listening to it makes people wonder if it is a leak from the sky. Not only that, there was a strong wind blowing outside, accompanied by bursts of thunder. If you think that's all it is, then you underestimate the words, existence of nature and natural disasters. Children know that when it thunders, as long as they hide in the house, they don't have to worry about thunder and lightning. But what about thunder? Can you imagine the scene of lightning falling one after another, continuously falling from the sky? Zhang Bai saw with his own eyes that even if a gigantic boulder is struck, it will be instantly exploded into countless tiny gravels. Facing this kind of natural power, even he can feel what it means to be weak again. However, there are always unbelievers in this world. On regional channels, most heaven designated are lamenting the power of nature. But there is a heaven designated from the Eagle Sauce country who sings the opposite. As a result, after being teased by everyone for a while, he wanted to broadcast live to catch the thunder. Because the field of view of the live broadcast room is connected to the line of sight of heaven designated, this heaven designated also specially recruited a good friend to help with the live broadcast. It was opened in one second, and people will be chopped into scum in the next second. At that moment, the regional channels were all quiet. In the blink of an eye, another six days passed. Today is the tenth day of the rainy season. The torrential rain continued day and night. The stupefaction has continued until now. As a result, the Fengyu tribe's residents began to flood. No, it's not just the residents of the Fengyu tribe. Instead, the entire Mirkwood is flooding. And the water level rises very fast. Zhang Bai didn't know what happened to other places in Mirkwood, but in Fengyu tribe's camp, the water level had already risen to 10 meters in just one morning. No, Zhang Bai moved to the top of the mountain early in the morning. He used the new talent he had drawn before the mountain moved the mountain, and built a large stone house for himself on the top of the mountain. The earth shakes the mountain talent, grade A, can manipulate the earth, mountain temples, etc. Of course, Zhang Bai is not the only one who has moved, everyone in the Fengyu tribe's camp has now moved to the mountains. To this end, Zhang Bai used the earth-shaking talent to turn the hilltops into platforms, and built a large number of simple stone houses for everyone to rest. This also causes his spirit power to be depleted. By the time spirit power fully recovered, it was already afternoon. Zhang Bai went out and saw that the water level at the bottom of the mountain had risen to 50 meters. To be honest, everyone was dumbfounded. 
In his two lives, he has never heard that the water level of a flood can rise to 50 meters. But as time went by, he realized that he was ignorant too early. When it gets dark, the water level of Zhao Zhao's flood easily exceeds 100 meters. And at this time, troubles also began to appear. Under the cover of the 100 meter high flood, it can be said that all living beings are equal. This caused all kinds of beasts to flee to high places one after another. Other beasts are fine. Those things like snakes, insects, rats and ants make people's scalp tingle. They reproduce fast, have a large number, and live in groups. This escape, it really rushed up the mountain like a tide. So, the heaven designated who have been idle for a long time are excited. With all kinds of means out, those beasts that fled up the mountain were blocked in the middle of the mountain and they couldn't move an inch. Of course, those high-level second-order beasts were shot and killed by Zhang Bai. And those third-tier beasts were also killed by the third-tier masters of the Feng Yu tribe. But do you think that's all the trouble? No, this is just the beginning. In a blink of an eye, it came to the 20th day of the rainy season. On this day, Zhang Bai was planning to practice when Yu Zhao's voice sounded outside the door. Master Zhang, it seems that Chief Sao is looking for you on an urgent matter. Got it, here we come. Zhang Bai responded, got up and walked out of the quiet room. Come to the outhouse. Zhang Bai saw Sao Wu in Kawar raincoat, walking back and forth anxiously. He couldn't help asking, Old Sao, what happened? Master Zhang, you are finally out. Put on the Kawar raincoat and follow me, or it will be too late. As Sao Wu said, he picked up the Kawar raincoat by the door and quickly helped Zhang Ri put it on. Then, he dragged Zhang Bai into the rain. Today, the rain outside has lightened a lot, and the lightning and thunder are gone. But don't worry about being struck by lightning when you go out. Soon, Sao Wu brought Zhang Bai outside a stone house. Zhang Bai noticed that there were actually two third-tier masters wearing masks and holding weapons stationed outside the stone house. This is the warrior of the Feng Yu tribe. Master Zhang, wear this. Sao Wu took out two masks, handed one of them to Zhang Bai, and put the other on himself. Zhang Bai silently took it and put it on, he vaguely guessed what it was. Sure enough, after entering the house, Zhang Bai saw a group of people lying on the wooden boards and howling continuously. Among them are aboriginal people in heaven designated. What surprised Zhang Bai the most was that even Feng Tianxing was among them. At this moment, Feng Tianxing is surrounded by an old man and a young man, who are treating him. In addition, there is a woman with a veil on her face, holding a wooden staff depicting the totem of the Feng Yu tribe. While dancing the great god, he walked around Feng Tianxing, still muttering words. Zhang Bai judged at a glance that this woman should be a priest of the Feng Yu tribe. Because she danced the Nuo, Nuo, third tone dance, which is an extremely ancient sacrificial technique. It is usually used during sacrifices, and is generally used to sacrifice totems, comfort ancestors, or communicate with ghosts and gods, heavenly Tao. But it can also be used to drive away plagues and avoid epidemics at ordinary times. If it is placed on Blue Star, it will definitely be useless. But in this practice world, Nuo dance is a mysterious technique with real effects. As for the old man and the young man, Zhang Bai estimated that they should be the pharmacists of the Feng Yu tribe. Judging from this situation, Feng Tianxing's situation should be very difficult. Otherwise, the pharmacist and the priest would not have shot together. Thinking of this, Zhang Bai looked at the others. He crouched down and began to check up for the others. About ten minutes later, Zhang Bai returned to Sao Wu, took off his mask and said, Don't worry, they are not sick, let alone plague, and they are not contagious. Hearing Zhang Bai's words, Sao Wu heaved a sigh of relief. Just as Sao Wu wanted to ask those people what was going on, a voice said first, you are talking nonsense. My master has confirmed that these people are infected with a plague that I have never seen before. Are you stronger than my master? Zhang Bai followed his reputation, but he was the young pharmacist among the two pharmacists. The young pharmacist had a proud posture, with a look of displeasure on his face. And although the old pharmacist didn't speak, his face was also not good looking. Feng Luo, don't be rude to Elder Zhang. Feng Xingyu on the side scolded the young pharmacist, and quickly apologized to Zhang Bai. Zhang Bai took a look at Feng Luo, and then waved to Feng Xingyu, expressing that he was fine. 
You wait here, I'll go back and dispense the medicine. After Zhang Bai said something to Cao Wu, he put on his Kaur raincoat and left. A pharmacist can not only identify medicinal herbs and understand the properties of medicines, but also has a whole body of medical skills, so it is no problem to cure diseases and save lives. What's more, Zhang Bai is a top pharmacist. The medical skills he knows not only include those ancient and modern Chinese and foreign medical skills on the Blue Star, but also include various medical skills in the practice world. Just like the Nuo dance performed by the priestess, Zhang Bai can do the same. Comma. In about an hour, Zhang Bai came back again. CFAF, he distributed the prepared medicine to Cao Wu and told him how to use it. So, the two gave medicine to the Aborigines and Heaven designated respectively. At this time, some people couldn't stand it anymore. Stop, are you trying to kill them by using medicines indiscriminately without knowing the symptoms? It was none other than that Feng Luo just now. Even Feng Luo's master couldn't help but uttered, at a young age, I thought I knew some medicinal herbs and knew some medical skills, so I dared to treat others carelessly. Didn't your master teach you that life is at stake? Hey, I'm grumpy. As soon as Zhang Bai put the medicine on the ground, he was ready to roll up his sleeves. He has always disliked beep beep, because it is more relieved to do it directly. At this time, Feng Xingyu slapped his hands twice, and sent the two of them flying away. Then he pointed at those two and said angrily, You master and apprentice are usually arrogant in the tribe, but who gave you the courage to call Lu Zhang Elder root again? You know, if it wasn't for Zhang Elder's great help, let alone the two of you, even the Feng Yu tribe would have been wiped out twice. Even the stone house you live in now was built by Zhang Elder. Seeing this scene, Zhang Bai had no choice but to suppress his anger and take back his right foot. He picked up the medicine again, and said to Cao Wu, Old Cao, the medicine doesn't need to be given to the Aborigines. Since those two guys think they are good at medicine, let them treat it. Good job, Master Zhang. Cao Wu naturally had no objection, because he was also very upset. Seeing this, Feng Xingyu opened his mouth but didn't know what to say. So, he had no choice but to stare at Feng Luo master and apprentice, and said coldly, if anyone can't be cured, I will kill you. Yes, chief, Feng Luo master and apprentice stood up tremblingly, but they looked at Zhang Bai with resentment. Such obvious malice, with Zhang Bai's current strength, he naturally felt it. But he doesn't care. The first two times, he could bear it for Feng Xingyu's sake. But if he dares to provoke him again, even if he wants to tear himself apart with the Fengyu tribe, he will kill them. Soon, all heaven designated were drugged. But in a moment, those heaven designated stopped howling, but fell asleep with soothing faces. This scene changed Feng Luo's master and apprentice's complexion greatly, and also made Feng Xingyu's complexion sink. Even the priestess couldn't help but glance at Zhang Bai. Old Sao, tell someone to send all these heaven designated back, they will recover after a night of sleep. Okay, I get it. Afterwards, Zhang Bai put on his Kawar raincoat and walked out of the house. He was not in a hurry to go back, but began to search for the source of the poisoning of those heaven designated. Yes, those heaven designated and aboriginals are all poisoned. And it contained a relatively powerful GU poison. It is precisely because of this that Feng Tianxing, a master of level 3 and level 10, is lying on the wooden board and crying continuously. Zhang Bai is now going to find the source of the GU poison, and then clean it up to prevent more people from being poisoned. After some searching, the family of Zhang Bai found the source of the poison in the latrine. A group of tiny flying insects. Although these flying insects are small, the information panel shows that their type, belongs to, bad insect larva. Fierce beasts, ferocious birds, and ferocious insects all belong to super mortal creatures. Zhang Bai used spiritual fire to clear away the flying insects, then turned around and went to other places. This flying insect can only exist in the toilet. Not long after, Zhang Bai came to a large stone house where meat ingredients were stored. The stone house was built by him, so he naturally knew the location. Let the guards of the Fengyu tribe open the door, and Zhang Bai entered the stone house, and he saw more flying insects there. After 20 days of continuous rain, the moisture in the air was astonishingly high. Even in the large stone house where the meat is stored, Zhang Bai has paid great attention to moisture-proof issues, but the house is still damp. 
Plus the temperature is not low now. No, even the smoked jerky has already begun to deteriorate. In this way, these flying insects will naturally be attracted. Coupled with the current flood water level, it has been kept at about 500 meters. These flying insects will naturally come here in search of food sources. Thinking of this, Zhang Bai immediately notified Cao Wu via private message, asking Cao Wu to come over. Not long, Cao Wu walked quickly into the stone house. After entering the room, he looked at the swarms of flying insects flying on the meat ingredients, and his face couldn't help but change. He couldn't help looking at Zhang Bai, Master Zhang, what's going on? As you can see, the air is so humid that these meaty ingredients have spoiled. Zhang Bai shrugged, pointed at the flying insects and said, and these flying insects are the source of poisoning those heaven designated, so you have to notify the heaven designated in each village, so that they will immediately kill them as soon as they see these flying insects. Get rid of it to prevent more people from having accidents. Poisoned, Cao Wu looked at Zhang Bai in confusion. Zhang Bai explained, as I said before, those people are not sick, let alone suffering from the plague, they have been poisoned by a relatively powerful GU poison, and this GU poison can't even survive the wind and sky work of level 3 and level 10. So it is, Cao Wu suddenly realized, he said, with Feng Tianxing's strength of level 3 and level 10, how could he be infected with the plague so easily? Emotions are poisonous. Afterwards, Zhang Bai gave some more instructions and then left. As for whether to inform Feng Xingyu, that was Cao Wu's business, Zhang Bai didn't bother to care about it. No, after watching Zhang Bai leave, Cao Wu immediately asked a guard to call Feng Xingyu over. Naturally, we cannot conceal or delay the major events in Beijing. The other side, after Zhang Bai returned to his own stone house, he came to Zhao. For the next few days, I'm going to close door training breakthrough. Before I leave the customs, no matter who comes to look for me, they all disappear. You don't need to ask me to eat these days. Yes, Master Zhang, Yu Zhao replied respectfully, not surprised. Because it was the same when Zhang Bai broke through before. Afterwards, Zhang Bai came to the quiet room to start closed door training. He didn't close door training to thank the guests on purpose because of Feng Luo's master and apprentice, but he was really about to break through. Second level practitioners mainly focus on the 12 classics and 8 extraordinary meridians that penetrate the human body. Long ago, Zhang Bai had already mastered all the 12 classics, leaving only the 8 extraordinary meridians. After this period of hard work, he has connected 7 of the 8 meridians, and now only the governor meridian is left. As long as the governor vessel is connected, he can formally form a complete spirit power circuit in his body. This is also called a small universe loop. After that is to understand the world, seize that ray of opportunity to cross the bridge of Tongtian Earth, and then you can officially enter the ranks of the third rank. Of course, heaven designated doesn't have to be so troublesome. As long as you meet the promotion requirements, you can directly advance with evolution points. Five days later. Today is the 25th day of the rainy season. There are five days left until the end of the rainy season. At this moment, in front of Zhang Bai's stone house. In the heavy rain, an old man and a young man were kneeling in front of the door. These two people are none other than Feng Luo master and apprentice. They were already drenched, as if drowned. And his eyes were dull, as if he had suffered some kind of major blow in his heart. Dot. Feng Xingyu and Feng Tianxing were walking back and forth in the outer room anxiously. Cao Wu was negotiating with Yu Zhao. Yu Zhao, just help me out and call Master Zhang. This is a matter of life and death. However, Yu Zhao shook her head resolutely. No, Master Zhang told me before that he will not see anyone before he leaves the customs. Cao Wu opened his mouth, not knowing what to say for a while. He has already told Yu Zhao the cause and effect. He also made it clear to Yu Zhao about the stakes. But Yu Zhao just refused to let go. Cao Wu is really out of control. So Cao Wu, who became more and more angry with his thoughts, turned his head and rushed out of the house, punching and kicking Feng Luo master and apprentice. While beating him, he also cursed. Ganyang, it's your fault, you too trash. Don't you think your medical skills are superb? Don't you look down on Master Zhang? But you guys can't cure the GU poison. Not to mention, even the antidote prepared by Master Zhang is placed in front of you, and you can't copy it. What's the use of you? 
Feng Luo's master and apprentice were beaten up and screamed again and again, which also attracted Feng Xingyu and He Feng Tianxing's attention. It's just that instead of stopping Cao Wu, the two father and son joined the fat beating ranks together. Three days ago, because of these two self-esteemed fools, Feng Tianxing almost died. These two idiots fiddled with each other for two days, not only failed to cure Feng Tianxing, but also made Feng Tianxing's condition worse. Fortunately, Cao Wu still has a lot of antidote that Zhang Bai prepared before. Only in this way did Feng Tianxing detoxify Ji Yu poison and save his life. Even the remaining aborigines were saved with the antidote in Cao Wu's hands. But the two still refused to accept it, and even argued that Zhang Bai was just lucky. Then, the slap in the face came. Despite Zhang Bai's reminder, Cao Wu, He Feng Xingyu also tried their best to prevent and clean up those flying insects. However, in the past two days, the aborigines and heaven designated have been poisoned one after another, and the number is still increasing rapidly. Cao Wu naturally came to Zhang Bai immediately, but learned that Zhang Bai was in closed door training. In desperation, Cao Wu had no choice but to consult Feng Xingyu. As soon as the two got together, they immediately summoned the pharmacists of various aboriginal tribes to see if they could replicate Zhang Bai's antidote. For this reason, Cao Wu also took out the last bit of antidote in his hands. Result, not to mention the pharmacists of other tribes. Even Feng Luo master and apprentice couldn't tell which medicinal herbs were used in the antidote and how they were formulated. What to do? I can only find Zhang Bai. So, Cao Wu, Feng Tianxing, and Feng Xingyu came to Zhang Bai's stone house hand in hand, and also brought the master and apprentice from the internet. Suddenly, a startled voice sounded. Old Cao, Feng Senior, Feng Leader, who are you beating up so hard? Hearing the sound, the three of Cao Wu quickly turned their heads and saw Zhang Bai at the door. The three were overjoyed immediately. Zhang Yi, Zhang Elder, you are finally out. Don't come here. Zhang Bai stopped the three rushing people with a look of horror. Good guy, the muddy water on his body is so drenching that it makes one's scalp tingle. The three of them reacted immediately, and after looking at themselves, they immediately stood there in embarrassment. Zhang Bai hurriedly said, Yu Zhao said that you have something urgent to do with me, what exactly is it? Hearing this, Feng Xing and his son turned their heads to look at Cao Wu in unison. What can Cao Wu do? He had no choice but to bite the bullet and said the matter quickly. After listening, Zhang Bai frowned. Didn't I tell you that you must pay attention to guard against and clean up the flying insects at the office? Why are so many people poisoned? Are you lazy? How dare I, Zhang? Wu, Ku. He really didn't be lazy, and tried his best to follow Zhang Bai's orders. As for why so many people are still poisoned, he is also confused. After thinking for a while, Zhang Bai asked Yu Zhao to bring a Kawar raincoat to put on, and then he came before Cao Wu and the three of them. Come on, take me to see those who have been hit by lightning first. Let me make sure first, whether they are the same kind of Ji Yu poison. Speaking of this, he looked at the two clay figurines not far away, and asked curiously, who are those two? Why did you beat them just now? Feng Xingyu, He Feng Tianxing once again looked at Cao Wu in unison. The meaning is obvious. Cao Wu smiled bitterly and said, Master Zhang, those are Feng Luo and his master, I will take out the antidote you prepared, and I want these two guys to copy Calabash according to the painting, who knows that these two guys are too useless. For two whole days, you couldn't even identify which medicinal herbs you used for your antidote, let alone how to prepare it. No, the more I thought about it, the more angry I became, I couldn't help but beat them up. Later, the wind leader Hefeng Sr. also joined. Quote, that should be beaten. Zhang Bai nodded with a look of relief. Don't you look down on me. But now, you don't even understand the antidote I prepared at will. The more Zhang Bai thought about it, he waved his hand and said, Okay, throw these two garbage far away, and don't put them in front of my house to pollute the air. Lao Sao, lead the way, let's go and see those poisoned people. Good job, Master Zhang. Go this way, Cao Wu responded, and gave Feng Xingyu a look before leaving. Feng Xingyu nodded slightly, expressing his understanding. After Zhang Bai and Cao Wu left, Feng Xingyu immediately ordered to the guards, go to two people, drag those two guys down and chop them up, remember to throw the corpse away. Yes, chief, 
The other side. After Sao Wu took Zhang Bai to the concentration point of the poisoned people, he went back to change his clothes. Zhang Bai quickly checked the condition of several people, and found that they were indeed poisoned, and it was the same poison as before. It's just that the poison in these people is more powerful than the poison in Feng Tianxing and others. Did those flying insects evolve? Zhang Bai pinched his chin with one hand, lost in thought. Suddenly, think about something. Immediately, the few people just now were checked again. Soon, Zhang Bai found marks similar to being bitten by mosquitoes from those people, and his eyes lit up immediately. Then he put on his Kawar raincoat and left quickly. Not long after he left, Sao Wu, Feng Xingyu and Hefeng Tianxing, who had already changed their clothes, came to the concentration point one after the other. After the three asked the guards at the concentration point, they knew that Zhang Bai had left. Just when the three guessed, it was time for Zhang Bai to go back and prepare the antidote. Zhang Bai came back with a face full of excitement. And in his hand, there was an extra glass bottle for liquor. Seeing this, Sao Wu couldn't help asking, Master Zhang, didn't you go to prepare the antidote? The antidote is not in a hurry. Zhang Bai replied casually, but kept his eyes on the glass bottle. To be exact, it was a black flying insect in a glass bottle. Feng Tianxing noticed it and couldn't help asking, Zhang Elder, where did you get the flying insects? I caught it, Zhang Bai said happily. I tell you, don't underestimate this flying insect, it is the king of insects, and it can become a big killer with a little training. Bug King The three of Feng Tianxing were taken aback for a moment. Sao Wu asked weakly, Master Zhang, the king of insects you are talking about is the king of flying insects. Yeah, otherwise what do you think? A rhetorical question from Zhang Bai instantly changed the faces of Feng Tianxing and the three of them, and they took a step back in unison. The GU poison of common flying insects is so powerful, isn't the GU poison of this insect king even more terrifying? Noticing the reaction of the three of them, Zhang Bai was taken aback for a moment and then quickly comforted him. Don't worry, the insect king can't fly out. Aren't you wondering why these poisoned people are poisoned? Here, this insect king is the culprit. Those who were poisoned were all bitten by the insect king, that's why they were poisoned. The three of them suddenly realized. Zhang Bai looked at Feng Xingyu. Boss Feng, there are too many poisoners here, and I may not be able to prepare the antidote by myself. Please call the pharmacists from all tribes, and I will teach them how to prepare the antidote. Okay, I'll go right away. Feng Xingyu turned his head and left quickly. In less than 10 minutes, Feng Xingyu returned with a group of pharmacists. Then Zhang Bai asked Feng Xingyu to find the medicinal herbs needed to prepare the antidote, and taught those pharmacists to prepare the antidote. That's all. After more than an hour, all poisoned people took the antidote. After finishing, Zhang Bai couldn't wait to take the insect king back to his stone house. He can detoxify Gu, so naturally he also knows how to raise and tame Gu. Because in some medical skills in the practice world, there are Gu specially used to treat diseases and injuries. After the insect king was captured. In the last five days of the rainy season, no one was poisoned anymore. And in the past five days, the flood below the mountain has receded rapidly. Until the last day passed, the flood completely receded, and the long-lost sunshine once again filled the earth. After the rainy season, there is a buffer period of three days. And the surviving heaven designated will get three million survival points. This is something that makes heaven designated happy. But looking at the ubiquitous mud below the mountain, they couldn't be happier. Including Zhang Bai. Because although his tall manor was not destroyed by the flood, most of it was buried by mud. The five-story villa was directly buried with more than half of it. Just think how thick the silt is. But what can I do? Still have to clean it up. Fortunately, Zhang Bai has an earth-shattering talent. As soon as he turned on talent, he cleared the mud of the entire Yanwang tribe out of the tribe in less than 10 minutes. Then he took out a bottle of mineral water and opened another talent, Raging Sea. Raging Seas, Class A, can manipulate water. With the help of the talent's ability, Zhang Bai spawned several water dragons, which washed the entire Yanwang tribe inside and out several times. In this way, the Yanwang tribe is finally clean. Of course, other heaven-designated tribes also have capable people. They also relied on the talent ability to quickly clean up the mud of their respective tribes.
Not so with Aboriginal tribes, especially Fengyu City. In the end, Gang Xingyu had no choice but to ask Zhang Bai for help. I hope everyone will support it and subscribe more.